Hi there! So, you're probably wondering where I've been and what I've been up to. Well, I mean, what does it look like I've been up to? But no, really, here I am in beautiful Budapest, or Budapest is how it's actually officially pronounced, uh, the capital of Hungary, uh, which I've never been to before, so this is another a first stop on Adam from Schlockhorror's world tour of the world, the globe, and the planet itself. Let's just address the elephant in the room right away. The question that is sure to be on everyone's mind, and no, it's not when are the new Columbo reviews coming out. It's what the fuck happened to your face? You wanna know how I got these scars? My razor is really cheap. It comes from a little, that's a budget supermarket. And I cut myself shaving. That's it, that's the story. So I've been walking around looking like I've been in a fight all day. Because I shaved it this morning. And uh, I cut myself in a, in a few places. But what do you think? It uh, Maybe it adds character. Scars out of character. What do you think of the anime hair, by the way? It's probably the last time you'll see it, because I'm probably going to get a haircut soon. This is what it looks like when it's kind of relatively freshly washed and blow-dried. Specifically, the blow-drying part is what makes it all fun, flouncy, and fancy-free. Uh, so, it is a Friday night at the minute. It is Friday the 8th of September. I've literally just arrived in Budapest. I've just arrived into my hotel room. Which, as I will show you, is quite basic. There's all my stuff. But you know what? It, uh, it gets the job done. And over here we have the uh, bathroom, of course. Where you could see the, uh, the, the door has been gouged somewhat. What the fuck was going on? I feel like I'm in The Shining. Let's see what kind of a view we have out the, the window of beautiful Budapest. Okay, we, we don't have one. I mean, you can't see anything at all, but it's just, I'm just looking out onto the other half of the hotel, so you can't see into the street or anything. Um, but yeah, it actually looks pretty cool outside. So this will probably be my second travel vlog uh, that you are seeing. I say probably because uh, this is actually the third travel vlog I've made. Uh, I went to Barcelona earlier in the year and I filmed some stuff there. But uh, I don't know, I kind of... There was a lot of dead air in that one. I kind of, I didn't feel that passionate about editing it. So I just kind of lost interest. I, I never finished editing it. I never put it anywhere. Uh, so I'll probably, I'll probably do this first. Uh, so you'll probably get this video first and then you'll get the, the Barcelona trip at some later date when I look totally different once again. Also, uh, Barcelona was on a solo trip. I went with my family, uh, but this is my second solo travel trip after Amsterdam, uh, which is, <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited about. Now I did say in Amsterdam that it is law that when you travel you go by air through the airport, go by air through the airport, you have to get yourself some big Toblerones. I got a big rucksack, but does it contain any big Toblerones? Well guess what? No it doesn't. I, I twisted the game this time and I got two packets of little Toblerones. This is mini Toblerones, two for 13 euros that I got. Classic flavor mini Toblerone and uh, white chocolate mini Toblerone. Uh, so I'm going to tuck into those uh, later. Uh, I'm really tired actually, it was a long flight. Uh, it's about three hours on the plane. And what I didn't realize, I flew at Ryanair, what I didn't realize when I booked it, I booked the window seat. What I didn't realize was uh, I booked the emergency exit. So I was in 16F, I was right in the middle of the plane. Uh, what I didn't realize with those seats is uh, they, you put everything in the overhead compartment. So I had this and I had a, a smaller carry-on bag and uh, it all got put in the overhead. My carry-on bag had a, uh, I brought some books with me uh, that I was gonna read on the plane for three hours, but then they put it in the overhead and, uh, I mean, look, I'm filming a vlog in my empty hotel room, I'm sitting on the toilet, alright, I'm not a very normal person, uh, I get quite socially anxious, so I was far too socially awkward, because I was in the window seat, I was in the far one, to, like, want to get up and move across to people and open the thing and take out the yoke, so, then legitimately, I was just too anxious to do that, so I decided I'd just sit there in silence, because I had, I had no headphones or, you know, things on, your phone's on flight mode in any way. I brought headphones before and then I put my phone on flight mode and then Spotify doesn't work, or at least didn't for me. It was on flight mode, so no point in fucking headphones. My current headphones are broke. 
Uh, so I'm waiting on a new pair to arrive. Um, so all I have to do, all I had to do was uh, read, but my book was in the overhead compartment. I can't, it's so embarrassing to admit, I wouldn't just get up and get it. Um, you know, so uh, I slept for an hour and then I woke up and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I was awake for two hours, just staring out the window. Uh, and now I finally arrived. It is, um, what time? It's probably nearly eight o'clock. Uh, my, my phone's out there. You know, they, they don't have clocks in these, in these bathrooms. Um, so part, part of me's tempted just to go straight to bed because I'm already kind, kind of tired. Uh, but I can't do that because I've already booked uh, tickets. I'm going to a party tonight. I'm going to the Danube Beat Boat <laughs> Party. I bells between words there. Uh, which is basically like a nightclub party, but it's on a boat that cruises down the Danube River um, for about three hours, I think, and then afterwards you get a party bus to an on-land nightclub, and there's like an after-party in the nightclub. I don't know if I'll go to the nightclub, because I'm very tired. <laughs> um, but I will go to the boat, and I will have a good time, I hope, and then... I kind of have a plan, I don't have much of a plan for the rest of the weekend. I'm staying four days this time instead of three days, I'm flying back on Monday. As I said, it is Friday night now, I'm flying back on Monday morning. So I really only have two full days, because uh, I'll probably just go straight to the airport on Monday morning. So I have a bunch of things that I want to do. Uh, certain very particular things I'm going to do, which is the reason I came to Budapest. But I don't know if I'm going to do those tomorrow or on Sunday. Um, I don't know yet, I'm, I'm going to figure that out. Um, play it by ear, as, as they say. But for night, for tonight, I'm going to, I'm going to have a shower, I'm going to try out the shower. And then I'm going to the party. And then tomorrow, uh, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I really, I don't, I only kind of have vague plans. I'll have to text someone actually and see kind of what's up. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be really cool uh, views on the river because one of the top recommended things is to do like a cruise or something down the river at night. So like why not go to a party that's on a cruise at night. Uh, but I probably won't bring the camera. I'll try to get some pictures and videos on my phone, which I will edit into this. Uh, but you little pink camera, uh, which is my sister's camera, that's not mine, so it's pink. Because mine works with the uh, shutters. Uh, shutter's broken, so uh, I don't know, I just ended up, uh, ended up with this one instead. Now, as you know, as you may remember from last time, I had a whole thing where my, my phone wasn't working and I had a whole thing. So basically, whenever you travel, things can go wrong and they will go wrong. And uh, already what's happened is I have this on the tripod and the tripod is broken, so I can just pick up the camera like that. It's on the tripod head and just uh, carry it around like this, which is actually kind of cool. But uh, I think that's probably going to end up being a problem. I can take you on a, on a better tour of... Look, there's my rucksack lying next to the toilet. There's a hair dryer. Uh, there's a hair dryer, hand wash, there's no toothpaste there. Um, and there's none of those little uh, bars. So there's no complimentary mints on the pillow. But then again, this is low budget. I was going to say shithole, that's rude. But uh, this is a budget accommodation. But you know, it gets the job done. Cool shower curtain. All right, so uh, I'm going to, uh, what's this? I don't speak a fucking word of Hungarian as well. It seems like a very difficult language. They just, they put they put letters together that, that don't go together. Oh look, here's a, here's a TV. I haven't turned this on yet. Uh, so let's get comfortable. I got new boots, by the way. Check them out. El Drippo. I'm going El Drippo mode. But I brought the exact same two shirts that I brought to Amsterdam, so don't expect that in new. <laughs> it's literally, it's the, it's the yellow flowery, kind of John Lennon looking shit, and then the, uh, the one that's kind of more blue looking. Okay, which, okay, at least the, the remote is in English. So let's, let's peep some Hungarian uh, Kino, as uh, they may well call it, we'll, we'll see. Maybe not, this thing a uh, very long time to load. Is that it? The way... Is it is it doing something? I think it is. All right. Well, if I press channel, oh, 
I didn't even press it. It just showed me the same screen again. And again. Alright. I think I'm stuck in a time loop. Oh, what's this? Shit got me fucked up. Okay, good. It's all file browser. Chrome. I can watch schlock horror on the TV in Budapest. What's all this? Oh god. Okay, how do I get down to there? What the? Here we go. Okay, Chrome. It's not English. If you look up dirty images in this as well. Oh god. I'm sure I agree to this. Do I? Which, which one is agree? It's usually the one on the... What? <laughs> what is it? I can't, like, I can't even make out the... They neither, none of the words resemble uh, English. I don't know which of these is, is agree or, or disagree. All right, maybe I should get out of this. I'm just going to try to, I'm going to put on channel number one. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Channel number one. Okay, channel number two. How do I get out of this? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Going to be a long weekend, fellas. What is this? Index? Mouse? Home. Home button. Home. Okay, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, what if I try channel number one again? Nothing. Okay, there there is no channel number one. Oh. What's this? Where's one that just says... What is this? Bon, bon Jetso. <laughs> Media? Maybe? I just want to watch some TV. The Simpsons. The Simpsons is always on, no matter where you go in the world. Video? What in the fuck? Podcasts? Okay, I don't think this is what I want. Home. Okay, look, the channel button. I'll just, I'll just go that. Channel up. No. Channel down. Channel to the side. Um, I don't know how to navigate this any further. Media. No, wait, that's what I'm on. That's what I was just saying. So this is a button. Okay, no. What if, what if I had to put in, like, what if it's, like, triple digits, so it's one, one, one. Okay, it isn't. I wonder if anyone else in the, out there could, could see me struggling to figure this out. I'm going to move back on the, the bed so it's at least more comfortable. Whoa. Look at that for a POV shot. POV, you're, you're in an Alex Adams video. Okay. Um, I'm kind of running out of options here. I really do not know how to work this television. Menu? Was I already on that? Menu? I guess this is the menu. Exit? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> up, down, all around. What does that mean? Uh, what else we got here? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, there's really not a lot else in this thing. How do I get back to the thing that was at the side that had like the options for like the the Scartleys and stuff? I don't know how to get back to that. Oh my god. Index maybe? Which I pushed with my thumb there and not my index finger. Okay, that, that did nothing. What's our list? Recorder. Radio! Let's put it on that. No, nothing. Okay. Maybe, maybe there aren't any channels on this. Oh, hang on, the buttons, the color buttons. I haven't tried these. Red, green, yellow, blue. Okay, I wasn't missing that in there. <laughs> All right, I guess, uh, I guess I just won't watch, uh, just won't watch any TV. I'll just turn it off. All right, there you go. <laughs> Lock up your daughter's Budapest. Because El Drippo's my name. And John Saxon's my game. Or some shit. Bye. Finally, we have some beautiful. Uh, that kind of Budapest. Budapest. Budapest nightlife. And then behind me. You can see it. There is the party boat. There we go, the line, so better go get in it. Okay, so that is the spot we were standing earlier, and now we're actually on the boat itself. 
As I said, I'm using my, my phone for this, so it's seen it from the worst quality than the worst of video. And you probably can't hear me as well. Let's say it of Budapest. Uh, it is now Saturday morning. I survived the boat party. It was a good bit of fun. And now we're on the move once again. Yeah, it's about half nine. Uh, this is kind of later than I intended. I thought, I, I thought I'd wake up at about seven. I didn't set an alarm. I just sort of thought I'd wake up at about seven. So, um, no, I just I said why I'm through shower out the door. Uh, all right. I think I think I think I know which of uh, the things in my activity is going to be the first to do. So the shops are on the way. Uh, there's something really cool on the way. So I'm going to a place called Margaret Island. Now there's a lot of traffic out here. Uh, busy road. Um, and there's something really cool. On the road. Uh, Margaret Island, uh, which uh, is the entire reason I decided to come to Budapest in the first place. So, uh, okay, here we are at stop number one. Beautiful, nothing better. Okay, so I'm now out of Aldi. I survived Aldi. Um, it was pretty cool. It had a nut dispenser, which I took a picture of. I just thought that was cool. They don't have this back home. Uh, now that Aldi didn't actually have kind of what I was looking for specifically, which is that, uh, I hope the traffic's not too loud. Uh, I was looking for, I heard that Aldi here does a gluten-free cocoa snail. It's like a, a chocolate kind of pastry, because I don't have those back home. But uh, that particular Aldi anyway did not seem to have any stuff. Uh, yeah. That's a place for fridge magnets, so I don't know get fridge magnets there. Uh, so I didn't get those, but I did get a whole pile of uh, Hungarian chocolate bars that uh, I've been wanting to try, so I'm going to try those later. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll continue on our way. Little has fucking delivered. Look at this. Look at all the wooden research they have. Okay, right as I was trying to film my uh, gluten-free holder, I was uh, being approached just off camera by a uh, homeless lady looking for change. Uh, so now I'm across the street from the little. Um, yeah, they have a pretty decent gluten-free range, some stuff that they don't have back home. I've got these. Uh, now, they look like kind of uh, profiteroles, but they don't feel like profiteroles. I don't know, it kind of feels like it's like flour or something. There's, there's no English on it, so... Part of me is a bit afraid that I've bought like a, a profiterole mix. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, hang on, I see it. Bell bake, I just noticed it's on a bell bake. So I think I think this is something for making profiteroles. It doesn't feel like it's actually a bag of profiteroles. Uh, so I won't be eating that now, I guess. But nonetheless, bring it home, bake it uh, at home. 
Let's see if I do have this one I'm very excited about. Yes. Damn, those look good. Yeah, this, this is probably going to end up being my breakfast. So, uh, no, let's, let's sit down for a second. Let's have some of these bad boys. I already feel my bag getting heavy, which is already the amount of uh, speed I got. Uh, I probably should have got them in a sort of carrying shopping bag, but I didn't. Alright. I want to look through the glass after to come off because I, I can't see shit in them. Okay, first up, looks like a kind of a, a jam ring thing. A, a jammy dodger, as it were. Good. What more can I say? I just realized now I've opened this bottle. I think it, this looks like uh, sparkling water, not still water, I'm not a big fan of sparkling water. That's all I have, and I want to wash down that jammy duck before I try something else, so sparkling water will have to be. Uh, just unpleasant, I don't get the feel of that at all. It's a cool looking bus, Cinema Mystica. I walked past that place last night. Look cool, but I'm not gonna get time to go into it uh, on this trip. All right, now I'm gonna have one of these chocolate yolks. Ah, which I now see also has, uh, has jam in it. There's a lot of emergency vehicle activity in these parks. I've only been here basically a few hours really and uh, I've seen definitely a lot of ambulances and some police and just I'm always hearing sirens and stuff. I mean it's a busy fucking city on the weekend so what did I expect? Okay, so I've now sampled one of each of the plain jammy ring and the chocolate jammy ring. And there's another one down at the end, that's at the other end. And I want to put this stuff in my bag. So, I'm not going to tear open both ends. Ah, so I'm going to try that later. Ah, I'm probably going to go to uh, Margaret Island, which I am on my way to. Apparently it's got a 30 minute walk. It's fucking really warm here. All of, all of this part of Europe, is, we're getting our Indian summer. It's happening in Ireland right now, too. Um, yesterday, it was so warm in Ireland, right? It was funny. Um, my mom and my nanny were there, and they were talking about, you know, this is just before I was going. We were talking about the weather. Um, and it was supposed to be, like, the hottest day. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the hottest day of the year in Ireland. And... Um, My mom said something like, yeah, it could, it could go as high as like 20, 30 degrees or something like that. And I was like, oh, Jesus. Um, he said, well, you know, maybe, Adam, it, it might be a bit cooler, though, where you're going. So I went inside and I looked up, I came back and said, yeah, right now, 
It is 26 degrees in Budapest. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, it's pretty warm here. Um, which is cool though, you know? I mean, I'll complain, but I won't complain too much. I'll complain. I'm gonna have another shot with Jam. Here before our life. The only problem is they're a little dry. Like the biscuit's quite quite a dry biscuit. The mouth is quite dry, but I only have this fucking sparkling water. So I'll have to stop off somewhere maybe along the way. I saw somewhere last night a lot of places had kind of public drinking fountains, so maybe I'll pour that down the shore and then refill it with the, the drinking fountain water. Might be better. And maybe it'll give me the scudders, <laughs> but sure, we'll see. Once it, once it doesn't hit me till I'm back home, that's all that matters. I want to enjoy Budapest so then I can be, well, not that I can be laid up, but you know, better be laid up at home than, uh, than out here. Fucking, you're not gonna believe this, okay? So I've walked past what looks like a, uh, like a theater, you know, like a theater where they, they do musical stage shows and stuff. They have uh, all their stuff lined up for the, the musicals that are coming, okay? So first off, we have uh, the kind of relatively inoffensive uh, Phantom of the Opera. And then look look what's next to it. You, you can't see it behind the tree. Pretty Woman, based on that that movie starring that, that awful actress who, who must not be named. And then look what's next to it. Oh my god. Six. The, the musical based on uh, the feminist empowerment musical based on Henry VIII's wives. And oh look, actually, Mamma Mia is next to it. Damn. What a fucking lineup that is. Oh my god. If I wasn't there, I'd be in hell. I can't believe it. Six and Pretty Woman and Mamma Mia all next to each other. Phantom of the Opera is okay. But, uh, Jesus, man. <laughs> so. So I got rid of my water, I gave it to some homeless person, and then I went to this bar, buy a fresh one, come out, open it, also sparkling. I somehow bought a second fucking bottle of sparkling water, so I still have no water. I'm actually a bit pissed off, but nothing can ruin my mood now, because I believe I'm coming up around the corner to the coolest thing in Budapest, probably one of the coolest things in the world, I'm so excited. certain actor who is immortalized forever in a statue right here on Falk Meeks Street. It is a statue of Peter Falk as Columbo. It's the fucking Columbo statue in Budapest and he's got dog with him as well. This lovable loyal basset hound dog goes with him everywhere but only from second season onwards. Amazing. So what's really cool is, as I said, when I got here, there were people around it. There were uh, people getting their pictures taken, uh, like a family getting their picture taken, the kids with the uh, with the statue, which is really cool. A new generation of Colombo fans, which for me means a new generation of subscribers. I think. Let's let's stand back here, and try to get a wide shot of it. There we go. So obviously, I said Falk, it's on Falk Mixa Street. Um, apparently, the story goes that uh, Peter Falk may or may not be a descendant of um, a Hungarian political hero named uh, 
uh, Mixa, Mixa Falk, but uh, apparently people don't know if that's actually true or not, and uh, if he, uh, he actually does have any Hungarian blood. Um, but apparently that is why it's here. And I think just generally, I think the show was just generally really popular in Hungary, <laughs> I think, uh, which is cool. It's another reason to love Budapest. So uh, yeah, this is a this is a statue. This is a statue of a man and a dog. And uh, I paid all the money. I, I got a hotel. I, I got flights. I did all of that. I paid all that money just so I could come here and see this. This is it. If I did nothing else, I'd be happy. This is uh, Derek said. This is even a bit cooler than the Bangs are for our house in what's it called? Amsterdam. I couldn't, I couldn't remember. I don't know if it's very visible, but I wore a Colombo t-shirt for this specifically, uh, which, you know, I obviously wanted to because it's cool, but uh, I probably shouldn't know because it's so, uh, so, so warm here, uh, if I start sweating you'll be able to see the, the patches uh, through the grey on the thing, so I'm going to try and get a new profiler picture now. Alright, and, and that's it I think, uh, I think I the photos. I'm literally so happy, I'm so glad that this exists, that, that's cool, uh, it's actually here in Europe, and uh, it's all you know, related things and pilgrimage destinations, we're all in America, uh, which I do hope to get to someday, which is not today, but today I'm here, also over here, look, there's a little, uh, another little statue of, uh, like a dead, uh, is it, is, like a bit of a, a frog, or a, a rodent kind of hybrid. It's got kind of like a, like a mole looking face and then it looks like a, a gun. So did he uh, Did he top himself? I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. And on the back. That's so cool. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that loads of people uh, Well kept interrupting me, but they kept stopping to take um, I'm gonna go down this quiet side street uh, Stopping to get pictures taken and stuff with it um, there was one guy who was standing next to him who was doing the pose as well. Uh, there were a lot of ladies, you know? There were a lot of uh, ladies coming and getting a picture taken now. Maybe they more so liked the dog. <laughs> I think they wanted a, uh, a picture of the dog. Oh my god, I forgot to pat the dog. I have to go back. I'll go back in a minute. Ah, so that's cool. And there was a, there was a guy standing there with his wife. I was I was putting the camera on the tripod and there's a guy standing there and he's like ah it's it's uh, it's colombo yes this is colombo i was like yeah colombo yeah he was like yeah i was like he is the best and he was like yeah and the wife was like yeah so that's uh that's pretty cool there's an art gallery or some shit nice god that's so warm i'm sweating all right i'm gonna cross over Walk back down. She used to walk past the statue again. So cool. <laughs> also, I didn't realize, as I said, I didn't uh, go to um, the uh, cheese dumplings. Not, not a, not a fan of cheese. I got to say. I just, I just had to, had to say that there in the middle of the sentence. I was trying to say. I didn't go to the after party, but uh, what I didn't realize was just walking past it here now is that the nightclub the party was at is on this street, it's only a few doors up. Um, so it doesn't really really mean anything, I suppose there's, there's not much point in saying it. Other than, uh, you know, I don't think there's much point in, in most things that I say. So, I mean, if I, if I only said things that had meaning, I probably wouldn't talk, and some people probably think I don't talk. Look, I just noticed a place I'm lying in that building. Whoa! Don't fuck with him. So there you go. Falk Mixa Street is uh, the home of the Colombo statue, being protected by a big lion, which uh, is, is really cool. Right, I've looped back around. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back against the statue again. Oh, there it is. It's the statue. Okay, I hope you can see me okay. Alright, for, for my friend Ryan, this is for you. Because I remember you said I had to pat the dog for you, and then I actually left without doing it. So, I came back 
I bit him. I patted, I patted Columbo's dog. So not, uh, I don't know what the name of the dog actor is now that I think about it. Uh, there were there are at least two. I think the original dog um, who was introduced in season two, I think he passed away almost right after season two. So I think from season three on, they had a uh, they had a different dog, which as far as I know, was the same dog actor throughout um, at least most of the 70s. And um, I don't think they changed him again during the 70s. Uh, presumably it was a different dog during the 90s, I doubt the 70s dog was still alive by then, I could be mistaken, I doubt it. Uh, certainly not for all of them anyway, not well into 1994, which is when Undercover came out. Which also makes me think, now I realise off the top of my head, I don't know what the last episode is to feature dog because I don't think he's in the last episode he probably gets mentioned but I don't think he's in it I know he's in undercover and he definitely gets a mention in ashes to ashes which is the third last episode I'm trying to picture that now because there is a dog in that but it's not dog I'm trying to picture if dog is also in it or if he's in maybe a trace of murder. There's a cat in that episode that's pretty important, but I can't picture dogs. The last one I know for sure that he's in is Undercover, 1994. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll have to I'll have to look into that. Uh, that's something I should know. Who's Hong Kong? Okay. Uh, so enough about me rambling about Columbo's dog. Let's start rambling about James Blunt. Uh, when I was a kid, the, the funniest shit I, ever, I had ever seen was the Mad TV parody of I'm Beautiful, or sorry, You're Beautiful by James Blunt, which he called, they called I'm Beautiful, and it was a woman playing James Blunt. And the, uh, the lyrics have kind of always been in my head, but then I didn't I didn't listen to that for probably about 10 years. And then a few weeks ago, I just randomly out of nowhere had a dream about it. And like, like I woke up stuck in my head. I remember nearly all the words. And uh, then I listened to it again and it still holds up. It's still one of the funniest things that uh, Mad TV probably ever did. And uh, how long was Mad, Mad TV on? Because it's, it's all kind of always thought of as a... As a a Saturday Night Live competitor, but I kind of only think of it as ever only existing in the 90s. It was like SNL was on in the 70s and it's still on today. Uh, I feel like Mad TV was probably on for like five years. I could be wrong about that. Um, but regardless, I always thought Mad TV was way funnier than SNL. I've always thought it was better. Um, there was, I remember watching shit uh, when I was a kid. Because, well, they did a lot of horror movie parodies, which is why I liked it better. They do one... Is it they do they do one that's Jason takes NASA, which is it's funny because it's sort of supposed to be a piss take on like what if Jason went into space? So I assume it's pre Jason X where you know they actually did that for real, um, but it was yeah it was Jason on a space rocket, but an astronauts, and then they had one that was like something like creature from the Black Lagoon versus a creature from the White Lagoon versus Dracula, and I think Wayne Brady was or sorry Blackula. He was Blackula. Um, yeah, I used to watch that shit over and over and over again when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm Beautiful by, by James Bond. I don't know the, the name of the lady. Uh, the very funny lady who did the uh, spot on James Blunt impression in that video. But uh, I, I, like, I looked her up a few weeks ago when I remembered it. And I hadn't heard of her. I didn't know her from anything else. I think she kind of pretty much only did Mad TV. Um, that's a shame. She was funny. She's good. I'm beautiful. So beautiful. I'm from England, you'll see. Girls do not deserve me. So I'm gonna jump into the sea. Try to wrap your mind around that. Wrap your tiny heads around that. But I'm beautiful. Too beautiful 
The jump would destroy my face To die at this time Would be such a crime Of the entire human race Because you all would miss my face Because I'm so damn beautiful And then like the snow gets in her face she's like Anyway, I've wandered into this little park here. There's a, there's a thing up on a bench. Sorry, a bridge. Every, every statue, there's loads of statues around Budapest. But every statue I see, I'm gonna think of is, uh, is that Colombo? I mean, it could almost be if he didn't have the hat. That's what I would do. If I had my own city, it would just be, ah, oh, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just, I was gonna say it'd be statues of Colombo everywhere, but there'd be some of Colombo and there'd be statues of like other characters and all the guest stars. A, like a, a Jack Cassidy statue and a Robert Culp statue and a Magoon statue. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually be so cool. Oh my god, I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm actually excited by the thought of that. That would be sick. Alright, here's your man from the front. Bro thinks he's James Joyce. Probably can't see shit. I can't see shit anyway. Because obviously I'm wearing my, my, my sunglasses, which are also secondhand and like scratched as shit, so. Uh, it's, it's hard to see out of them uh, But anyway, let's go over here Let's maybe not actually because I don't think this is where I want to go. All right, let's go down this room Ooh. That was fucking steep. <laughs> I nearly fell off of that. Okay, what of you? What of you and it's so beautiful out the Sun is shining uh, So Margaret Island is like literally right over there um, but I've come down off this thing So I was up over there, Columbo's around the corner, I came around the bridge through the park Now I'm down here, but I think I want to be back up there on the bridge I think that's how I get to Margaret Island, so I gotta walk uh, Well, I should walk back up and around, but now that I'm down here and I've just noticed that there's a big sign over there We're actually gonna go have a look at that Oh, and there's some kind of, it looks like maybe Korean text? I don't think it's uh, Japanese Maybe Korean text or, or uh, something similar. I'm no expert, but uh, doesn't it look kind of Korean y more than uh, Japanese e? If I have any weebs watching or any uh, BTS fans watching, kill yourselves. What a scorcher! Oh, look at the the water looks beautiful. I want to jump in mainly because I'm so warm. I want to jump in the water. I'm going to the water later. That's right, the water. Um, hope there's no one behind here listening to me. Whoa, this is cool. What's this? It's like some something kind of Buddhist, maybe. That's probably a racist assumption. Look at that bird feathers in that one. This is nice. This is a, this is cool. What's this? It's got all, it's made of clay or something. I don't want to touch it. I mean, I do want to touch it, but I'm not going to. What's this? Newspaper clippings. Asian women. <laughs> Any uh, it's all in Hungarian. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Look, it looks like. Oh, uh, a boat sank or something. Oh, it's some, it's some kind of memorial to some kind of a uh, disaster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and these must be the people who, who, who died. And yes, they're definitely... They have to be Korean, right? Those are Korean names. You know, I kind of feel like an asshole. I am an asshole. It's nice, though. You know, it's a nice memorial. I miss this, this, this thing that's up here. Oh, it's like a teddy. Oh man, that sucks. There we go. In memory of the victims... Oh, sorry, my camera's still zoomed in. In memory of the victims of the mermaid boat disaster. And up there is a... Okay, that's not a dedication to the memorial. That's about the bridge. Oh my god, that's so hot. I put my hand on it. Oh my god, that's so hot. I 
feel like Logan Paul. Remember that time Logan Paul found a dead body? Well, I mean, it's not that bad. You know, I've always been, in a lot of ways, I've kind of been like Logan Paul. I had a dream that, uh, that Logan Paul was in the other day, and I don't remember what it was. It wasn't James Blunt. It was just something, something was happening, and he showed up. I think I was watching a movie, and he was in it. Oh, there's like speedboats or something in there. I think it was because, isn't, uh... Where are the boats gone? I can't see them. Um, Mr. Beast is in something, isn't he? Mr. Beast is, Oh, he's in Ninja Turtles! Mr. Beast is a cameo in Ninja Turtles, which I didn't see. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, the new animated film from Seth Rogen. And I, th I think... I think that was it. I think I heard about that. And I had a dream where I was watching something and then Logan Paul showed up. That's fucked up. Get out of my head, Logan Paul. I don't want you in there. Man. All right, I'm gonna go. Hang on, maybe we can get back up from the other side because it looks nice and cool and shaded under that bridge. And that is where I wanna go. Look at the, uh, well, these are all scooters mostly. I'm still zoomed in, but look at the look at the rack thing. It's just a it's just a big curvy curvy circle, a hoop to loop or whatever, as it, as it were. Here we go, we're in the shade. Oh my god, better than sex. Oh, it's so cool under here. I think I'm about to stay here. I don't think I'll do any tourist stuff. I'll just stay here. I saw the Colombo thing. I'm happy. Oh, it's so cool under here. I Man, I wish I had a cool drink of nice water. I was walking around with the sparkling water, like I just opened it. We were just walking around with it open, hoping that it would like, you know, it would lose its fizz. <laughs> Which always happens really fast when it's something that you want to stay fizzy. You know, when you open, you open a Fanta or whatever, and you want it to stay fizzy, it always goes flat really quickly. But I want that to go flat. It would take fucking forever. Just my look. Okay. That is not a pathway. Alright, I think there's a pathway up here. I can get back up onto the bridge. And then I can go. Um, well, I'm looking for a plane. I'm trying to see if there's a plane. Not that I could hear one, but uh, like I, th this is kind of a surreal thing. This is going to sound fucking stupid. Oh, there's a fountain over there. That's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go up this really steep ramp, maybe. I made it, but that was really steep. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's, it's for. I'm, I'm obviously, it's for bikes. Um, I booked this trip back in April. So from April to September, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I've been like constantly researching Budapest. And then I still get fucking lost, but, and like, of course, even before that, before I booked it, I was looking at it. So like, I just, I've been like looking at Margaret Island on, on Google Maps and stuff for like the better part of a year. And then yesterday when I arrived and I flew in, as we were descending, we descended right over, uh, sorry about. I keep being interrupted by homeless people, but you know what? They're, they're grand. Um, oh, there's a butterfly. Get the butterfly. Don't fly away before I zoom in. Amazing. Well, I mean, it's nice. It's not the best, it looks like it's censored. Not the best butterfly I've ever seen, to be honest. I like the ones that are black and orange the most. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was... Uh, I was looking at Margaret Island just for ages, and yet yet last night, I like I just, the plane I was descending, it came down over Margaret Island. I could see it, and I was looking at the window, and I was just like, holy shit, there it is. Like, there's Margaret Island, you know, this, this thing that I've been looking at for months. I don't know, that probably fucking sounds stupid, but uh, it, was just, it was just really cool. You know, it was like, I'm finally here. You go over there taking pictures. Uh, look at these benches. They're all individual chairs. So they're not. They're, look, they're on a joint thing. But they have separate armrests. I only got one armrest because I was in the... See, another... There's the cops. I, I only got one armrest on the left-hand side on the plane because it was at the emergency door, so 
I have one armrest. Anyway, look, here's the fountain. I'm so tempted to just put my fucking face in it. It's so warm. Oh my god. I was almost going to bring a card again. With me. Like, I, I was like, when I looked at temperature yesterday, because it was, obviously there, were, there was a uh, athletics here a few weeks ago. Right, so I was just, so I, everyone was talking about Budapest because there's a there's a water fountain over there. I think I think I can refill my uh, my water bottle. Hang on. I'm so excited. You know what's really gonna happen? You know what happened? They're gonna do this, and I bet I bet the fountain dispenses sparkling water. I bet that's what's gonna happen. Okay, uh, this will probably be too awkward for me to film it, so. Uh, I'll just stop and then come back. Okay, the water was still water, thankfully. It was not sparkling water that came out of that fountain. Um, it's uh, not too warm, which I was afraid it might be. Nice and refreshing, a bit of an aftertaste, but what can you do? And at this point, I want to I want to play too much better than the You see, now I'm on the bridge cross over, and that there is Margaret Island. Which you kind of can, you wouldn't kind of almost know from here because it doesn't look like an island. It just looks like the other side of the river. If you look there, you can see the the gap. You can see that there is it's cut off and there's more water on the other side. So that is where we're headed all the way uh, down there. Dude, my shoulder is fucking killing me. But anyway, here we are. We've made it to Margaret Island. I have some sort of fucking family fun there, some shit over there, we've got a big giant inflatable darts board, it's also like, uh, oh I thought it was a slide, I don't think it is, I think it's just a giant inflatable darts board, and uh, there's like a bouncy castle over there, there's, there's kids and families in there, they're doing fun stuff, and over there there were what looked like guys in like prison jumpsuits and they were picking up litter, so maybe they, they were prisoners, or, or some, I don't know what was going on, uh, but uh, like look at this, okay, now the, over here is fenced off so I can't walk through it, but damn, look at that. A big fucking thing. What is it? It's like, I don't know, a shell or something? And uh, some flowers around it. Because like, why not? Just a big, a big thing with some flowers around it. I'm going to move away from an announcer man. And bring my bag with me. We're going to go have a closer look at that. We're going to try. I don't know if there's a good place around it to stand, it's kind of on the road. Um, well, I'm headed, I'm headed over that way to behind it anyway. Alright, I was going to carry this by hand, but I think I'm going to have to sling it on. The other shoulder, give this one a break. It's fucking wrecked. Oh, the, the fountain over there is going nuts. Let's get over. Have a, have a, see a bit of that. Alright. People coming past her on uh, roller rides. There's a big darts board. Yeah, I think I think you. Uh, I think you kick you kick footballs against it or something. Oh my God! It's just like um. What's that awful Colombo episode? With the with the fountain. Dancing in time to music, sex in the married detective when he's playing the uh, the tuba. Except it's a is it a different song? I like don't I don't rewatch really that episode that often. But look, the fountain is putting on like a show. It's it's doing all all mad shit in time with the music. This is this is cool. Yeah. jump in that water. It looks so cool and refreshing. I am so warm. <laughs>
this. I love this over here as well because I'm in the shade again. A few days. Never have it in the shade. This is fucking sick. Oh, we gotta, I gotta get back in the shade. I've been out in the sun too long. I came out of the shade there for two seconds. Wasn't good. So we're going over here now. We have some beautiful flowers. Oh, there's lots more over there as well. Oh, I like this one. The streaks of red. They're like kind of pinky and then the, the streaks of red through it. That's a really nice display. They have similar over there as well. This one, not so much. This is just a bunch of purple leaves. Um, but the, the one with the kind of the streaks through it, I love that. It's still going. Oh, it's so nice here. It's so scenic and warm. But I mentioned that it's warm. I wonder if you can see it. I don't feel like, I mean, I got, I'm sweating, but it, I don't, I'm not like sweltering sweating, you know, when you can feel it coming off itself. Um, but that, that does happen sometimes in the boss. Maybe I do, maybe I'm cover it with the sweat bubbles. Or come up to more. Nice, look at these roses or whatever they are. The red ones in any ways. Look, they got like sun loungers. They have public toilets as well. I wonder if they pay in. You do actually. One euro, or which is it? Two, two, two fifty foreign. I don't, I don't have any change. What's this? Oh, there's a bunch of banners there. I'll tell you what this is. This is shaded. This is nice and cool. What's this? Look. Budapest. That's where I am. I couldn't remember. Thank you for reminding me. But this looks like kind of a markety area. It has like a, some shops and stuff, like a food court. We're saved. So I'm not that hungry, but, but nonetheless, I don't know if I can get anyone here to sell me uh, more sparkling water. ATMs as well, but uh, apparently I only use certain ATMs. And look, that these fucking hundreds of ATMs. Um, but uh, they tend to change, uh, chart is really atrocious uh, exchange rates. There's only a, a small couple which are uh, kind of relatively safe. Even then it's a risk, but... Uh, so yeah, you, you probably want to go to one that's in a, a proper bank and not just any one that's on a, uh, on a street. Because uh, those are probably going to be the, the scam ones. Look at this thing here made of like uh, bicycles. Look at that big surfboard. You know what I nearly said there, I was about to say? Oh, I'm not gonna go this way around. I was gonna say, it feels like being away, it feels like being on holiday. Uh, which always be my arm. But what I mean is that it, it, it feels like when you, you go to like Spain or something. Italy. It's really cool. Oh, there's a place over there called Hippie Island. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap around and uh, you know that seems me because I've got a very hippie-ish vibe uh, generally. 
last time a guy came up to me, he was like, dude, you look like John Lennon, I'm going to call you John. And then two of his friends came over and they were like, but dude, you, you look like George Harrison, I'm going to call you George. And they, they kept calling me George. Um, so, yeah, so I said, I need to find, I need to find people here, someone who will call me Ringo and someone who will call me Paul. And I'll have all four of them covered. But, uh, didn't happen. Here's Hippie Island. Hippie indeed. Also, I got my bag searched in the airport again. I guess, uh, I guess I just have that, that vibe to me. I mean, I was coming through with a big rucksack. Uh, but when I was coming through, uh, customs with nothing to declare, they pulled me aside and had, had me take a bunch of stuff out of the bag. It was fine once they, they saw I had nothing, uh, contraband or anything. Waved me on through. I need to change shoulders again. Look! Oh, my shoulders are going to be wrecked after this. Ah, oh, I think I've got a stone in my shoe. But it's a, it's, a, it's a combination of the vibe and the weather. Man, I make some fucking just observations that just aren't worth observing. This place looks nice. This reminds me of a, a kind of a poolside area at a, a place I've stayed in Portugal. And I was thinking, because obviously, like, I, this is the first week of the... Uh, hang on, I see something over here. Um... Oh no, I see something else over here. What is this? Okay. Alright, hang on. Well, let, let me finish my uh, initial story first. My initial lack of observation. Which was, um... As I said, I booked this in April, before September. And then I was like... Why didn't, why didn't I book it during the summer? What, what am I doing? Uh, but turns out... Didn't need to. Because, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's somewhere here now. Okay, so this is... Thorkut and... Mosey? Motsi? I'm not sure. Wonder Garden. So it looks like it's a... A place where they screen flicks at maybe even the odd kino. Looks like a kind of an outdoor cinema maybe. And they have, um... The walls are all lined with some iconic uh movies you ever see you ever see when people on twitter on, on facebook or whatever are like can you name this movie and then it's titanic it's like yes everyone can name that movie from that image you know what i mean like, yeah and then and then you'll have like 500 people doing it like, what, what do you think you're gonna win by post a comment that says yeah it's titanic dipshit anyway um but nonetheless let's see if we can name them all we got titanic star wars I actually can't name that one. Nah, it's Harry Potter. I'm pretty sure that's the last one that's Deathly Hollows Part 2, probably. But I don't know. I've not seen the last couple ones. The Dark Knight, The Shining, which is also what I am living uh, currently uh, because of my... Uh, I need to show you more of my hotel, by the way. Um, Hangover 1. I nearly thought that was Hangover 2 because of the baby, but remember they have the, the baby in Hangover 1 and they have the monkey in Hangover 2. We've got the Godfather, we've got Greece. Look, I mean, we've got the Godfather, and then up here we have Fast and Furious. I think that is, that looks like the seventh one. It looks like Fast and Furious 7. The Iron Man, Forrest Gump, that, uh, that movie, we don't, we don't need to talk about that. This is nice. All right, what we got here? Oh, we got some keynote. We got High School Musical 3, I think. Isn't that High School Musical 3? Maybe it's the first one, I'm not sure. I think that is the first one, actually. I can't believe I'm, I'm debating this. Fight Club, The Great Gatsby, Pirates of the Caribbean 3. Isn't? No, it's no, it's 2. 2 is the one where he's the, the, the pirate, the cannibal king on the island. And three is the one when he's in like hell and they have to go rescue him. So that's Pirates 2. What was that one called? Dead Man's Chest? Indian Jones and the Temple of Doom. Hunger Games, okay, I assume that's the, the first Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the first one that I passed. This is the one that caught my eye. 
We got uh, Gandalf in, what's that, in The Hobbit? Is that, the, is that The Hobbit, the last one? Now that is obviously Lord of the Rings. I don't know which one it's from. Probably the last one, The Return of the King, but I don't know. Sex of the City, what is that there? Abitap, um, he's up here, Pulp Fiction. That's two, that's two. I think, I didn't pay attention. I think John Travolta might be the only actor who's on this thing twice. That's insane, John Travolta, my man. Anyway, Richard Gere and an actress who must not be named, who's currently in a musical, or there's a musical based in this movie. I, I doubt she's in it, but the character's there. I don't remember what her character's called. And the man himself. Which was what caught my eye in the first place as I came around the corner. Which was I saw the white tux. Uh, so that's Sean Connery. Uh, obviously. I mean, I don't even need to uh, need to tell you what film it's in, do I? I'm going to pause this video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make someone guess it. It's Goldfinger, 1964. And the pre titles when he's... Uh, uh, he, he blows up the... Uh, the drug warehouse. He comes up. He comes up out of the water. Uh, he's in a wetsuit and he unzips the wetsuit and he's got the white dinner jacket underneath. Not even a bit crumpled. Fucking amazing. Love that shit. I have found a spot to sit down. Thankfully, in the shade. Um, so I brought I brought all these chocolate bars with me, and I was like, I'll sit down at Margaret Island and I'll I'll do I'll taste some of them. I won't try all of them in one go. Because they're all different flavors and stuff. Now that I'm sitting here, man, I'm really not that hungry. <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to try them some of the less. So here's, here's my pile. Um, and I had, so before I came, I, I looked up uh, like Hungarian chocolate bars. Uh, I found a list of all kind of the best ones. Uh, so I got some of them. Now I had, a, that list also describes what they're like. Uh, but I don't have that list of hand, I don't remember. So some of them I'm not sure. One of them uh, I don't really remember what it's supposed to be like at all. Uh, there's another one that I don't have that's big here called a Balaton, which I would love to try, but it's a wafer. I love wafer, but I can't eat normal wafer. It would have to be gluten-free wafer. Um, and on that, uh, I bought two things that I hadn't I hadn't heard of before this one is a a, a coconut uh, thing uh, this one it I'm not really sure what it is but I like coconut anyway I looked at the uh, ingredients uh, now all the ingredients and in all of these are all in Hungarian and not in English uh, so I didn't see the word gluten so I'm not sure so I'll find out when I open that also these I bought the uh, we have similar versions. They're kind. Of, they're kind of like Kinder, but this is an apple flavor one, which we don't have back home. So I was like, ah, eh, you know, like I kind of I want to try it. I'm not the biggest fan of apple flavor. I don't mind apple flavor too much, uh, but I kind of try it out of curiosity. But now that I, I got it, I just got it because I saw apple. I now look at it. I see it has has crunchy bits in it. I look at the back and it, it says it, it contains cornflakes. So uh, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm glad everything here, everything here is already really cheap anyway, kind of, well, it, it seems to be, like, generally things are, um, are quite cheap in Hungary, in Budapest, that's one of the top selling points of it as a destination, and then when you add on to that that you go to a budget uh, supermarket like Little or Aldi, things are even cheaper, so I don't think I wasted too much money in the two bottles of water that I bought that were sparkling water, and the... Uh, the, the bars I bought that I possibly can't eat, or indeed the profiteroles that I bought that turned out to be not profiteroles, but a, a mix. Um, I'm not going to live that down, let me tell you. Uh, also, I finished the other things that I, that I opened there. I don't even know what they were called, those uh, those jam ring things. Uh, they're nice. The, the plain jam rings by themselves are quite dry when you're eating a lot of them, and it's warm out, and you're thirsty. Uh, the chocolate ones, the ones with the chocolate on it were a lot, they went down a lot easier because the chocolate's a little bit melty. And it's chocolate, they're nicer. And then I, I tried those little other ones at the end, there were four of those. They were a good bit crunchier, they were a bit harder, they were nice. Uh, but I like most things because they don't with a bit more chocolate probably on them. 
But they were nice. So the the the, the main jam rings with the chocolate on it were probably my favourite, and then the small ones, and then the plain jam rings. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna try I think these two small ones. Uh, so they look like they look very similar actually, to the point that I thought I, I bought two when I put them down. I was like, shit, did I get two of those sport bars? Uh, then I remembered I, I got a, a cappuccino bar. So sport is one of the ones I remember because it's easy to remember. Sport. And then uh, when my, my mom was watching the, the Budapest Athletics, uh, they had sport everywhere because it was a sporting event. But no, because uh, this sport bar was a, a sponsor, so they had the, the logo everywhere. So it was like sport bar. Okay, I'll get one of those. And they had a bigger one and then these really small ones. And I'm not sure I'm going to like it. So I just got the small one. And they did have a bigger one that was also coconut. But they only had the big one. And uh, I was like, maybe I should get that. But then I got this other coconut thing. Uh, so if I like this, maybe I'll go back and get the, the, the coconut one. Uh, I don't remember what this is. I don't remember what's in this. This, the cappuccino, this is uh, coffee flavor, as you can tell. They feel kind of soft. They almost feel like they're... Well, obviously, it's fucking warm. They're probably melted as shit. So how am I... Okay, I wonder if I can open this with, uh, with one hand. Probably not. Okay, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a two-hander job. Here we go. Oh my god, I need to fart. Oh, it's... Okay, it's not too melted. What do I even open? The sport. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, alright. What's in this? Oh, this is not good. No, because I remember I was looking up the ones and I made up the list of the things I could get. Um... And this is on the list because it, it didn't it didn't look at like it had any, any kind of gluing in it which is why i have to reel out the balaton and then something that's like uh, similar to balaton i couldn't get that either that kind of strange smell to it all right here we go Strange taste to it, actually. That's not what I expected. So it's like there's like a different kind of a. It's quite kind of quite uh, rich. I think it's kind of hazelnutty. Hmm. I have an odd texture as well. I don't know. It's okay, but I'm glad I didn't get the uh, the big one. I'll even film it out. You know what? God, if that was rich, I wonder how rich the uh, cappuccino is going to be. Okay, here we go. It's quite. It's it borders almost on a on a sort of a dark chocolate feel almost. Don't tell me the battery's going to die. Okay, apparently my battery's quite low, which is fucking annoying because I charged it up overnight, but whatever. So, you're going to miss the rest of my Margaret Island trip, even though there's lots of scenic things. So, I'm very, very quickly going to try the cappuccino before it does. The smell is really strong. It tastes very strong, too. You know what? They're okay. I won't go crazy for them. Alright, I'm going to knock it off. I'll try the rest of the bars later. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Now, I don't say this very often, but it's very fucking warm out here. All right, so it looks like there's some kind of old uh, ruins or something here, over there, like a castle or a fort or something with a neat little bridge over there that I'm gonna go up and over. I've, uh, I think I'm gonna have to cut my, my, my trip short. Um, I haven't even reached the end of the island, but it's so warm.
I'm so tired and I have other things I want to do. Um, which also includes having to get back to the hotel and put the camera onto charge for a little while, so... Uh, I'm, I'm more than halfway, but I think... Oh, that's like at least a half an hour walk back to get back off the island out to the street, so... I'll do that, and then it's another uh, half an hour walk after that, so it's a full hour back to the hotel. I might just get a taxi. Anyway, the, the camera's gonna die. Here's the view up on the bridge. Cool. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. And as you can see from all these lovely tombstones behind me, I'm in a graveyard. I'm in Fayumi U Sirkert Graveyard, which might just mean Fayumi Graveyard. Sirkert might be the Hungarian name for graveyard. I don't know. Um, it's a massive historical graveyard, which is uh, conveniently only 10 minutes walk from my hotel. And uh, most of the walk was shaded, which uh, I was happy with. Um, I wore new boots uh, to Budapest, uh, which I should not have done. I remember I, w I wore new boots to um, uh, Amsterdam. I cut the fucking heels off me. And uh, now uh, the new boots have started hurting my toes. So you know what, you know what I'm doing? I walk around in my swim slippers and my swim shorts. Yes, that is that is what it's going to. I am walking around a graveyard on a late Saturday afternoon in swim trunks and swim shoes. This is what it's come to. Uh, so yeah, let's go over here. Let's have a look. So there's a lot of uh, famous Hungarian people buried in this graveyard. Unfortunately, I don't know a lot of famous Hungarian people. They're mostly, I think, kind of like uh, a political, like historically significant people, which I'm afraid I'm just not that familiar with. So I probably walked past a lot of graves uh, and didn't kind of really take on board the, uh, the significance. This is fucking cool. Look at this. Um, I did try to look up before I came who was here and then when I came in through the entrance there was a there was a map and the two the two people that I, uh, stood out that I, I wanted to try and find their graves aren't mentioned on the map uh, now one of them I have a rough idea I think of of where it is so I'm gonna head that direction and uh, hopefully fucking hell it's warm I'm gonna end up in one of these graves hopefully I'll find them the other one, I have no clue where it could be. Um, and then I tried to Google it, and uh, all, all, all the information it said was uh, that they're in this graveyard. I was like, yeah, great, but I mean, there's a lot of people in here. Where, where are they? Um, so that's a, that's a guy named Carl Maria uh, Karteni. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not sure how you pronounce most things in Hungarian, as I'm, I'm sure you've noticed by now. I hope I don't fall off anything here. I'm up on a platform and uh, I can't see too well. Let's see, look. Cook has walked off the edge of that. Check it out. New World Order type beat. Let's see what's in here. Bunch of names. I just stood on a fucking stone. This is the problem about wearing the slippers. They don't offer much protection. I always get a bit self-conscious. I love filming graveyards. That sounds really weird. I do. But I'm always kind of a bit self-conscious about it because I don't want anybody to think I'm being disrespectful. Which, you know, I, I do kind of tend to be in my own droll way. Anyway, what I was saying, Carl Maria uh, Batani Um, is the inventor of the word homosexual. Uh, so he was a Hungarian man, and way back in the day, um, people used to call... People used to call gay people pederasts, which is um, basically interchangeable with the word pedophile. 
and uh, this guy, Carl Maria, came along and said, no, that's not on. It needs its own separate word to identify gay people who are not pedophiles. And, and he came up with uh, homosexual. Um, now, the debate kind of continues to this day. He never married, but never came out as gay himself. Um, so whether or not he was gay is still up in the air, but nonetheless, he is a, um, an LGBT icon, certainly um, for LGBT in Hungary. I don't know if he's that well known outside of it now, uh, but maybe he should be. Um, but yeah, I also, uh, as I said, I don't actually know where he is buried. Look at this. So, I probably won't get to find his grave. The only thing I find online is, other than that he's in here, where someone posted a picture of his tombstone. But at that point, I might as well just be looking around and being like, you know, read every tombstone and hope that, uh, I find one that says his name on it. Like, it's not a regular tombstone, there's like a... There's kind of like a big carved piece of stone uh, with like his face in it, but the, that's that's all I have to go off. As you can see, this place is just huge, so I don't know um, if I will get to find it. Uh, but he's in he's in here somewhere, uh, Carl Maria, the man who invented homosexuality. <laughs> he introduced uh, gayness into the world. There you go. See, see what I said about me being disrespectful? There's a, there's a, a thing here. This probably isn't in the room. Whoa. Why did I even do that? I don't need to get water. I just did that to amuse myself. Now, I charged the camera only for about an hour. Okay. Look at all this. These are all... I mean, I don't really know. When I go home, I'm gonna to have to Google some of these names and try to, uh... Try to find out who some of them are. Damn, man, a lot of dead people in the world when you think about it. Anyway, what I was, what I was trying to say there was, uh, before I got distracted by talking about the actually interesting thing, which is these graves, I was just gonna talk about my own life. My own boring evening that I've been having was that I charged the camera for an hour. I think it takes about three hours to fully charge, which sucks. Um, so I don't know how long it's gonna last. So I should be, I should try to be a bit more conservative with how much I film in here, but uh, I've, ne I've never been good with uh, knowing when to stop uh, talking about this kind of thing. What's over here? Look, this is there's a cross on that grave. Do you see this? But the way the, the thing, is wrapped around at the Hungarian flag. It uh, it looked like a Viking face from from back there. Also, I'm blind as a bat, so that uh, that doesn't help. Damn. These are all pretty well kept. People who died a long time ago. Well, I like exploring old graveyards. Is you find a lot of old graves that have fallen into disrepair. It's kind of sad. It doesn't mean that nobody loved that person or something. It just means that, you know, maybe they were, they were from so long ago. But there's just no one around to kind of keep up the graves anymore. But I do think it's it's kind of sad that, uh, you know, that's, that's the last thing you have on, on Earth is your grave. And then at some point that becomes abandoned. Like it's overgrown with vegetation. The tombstone's cracked. It's maybe fallen over. There's like a, I remember I saw one once, it was like a crypt, and it had like a, a, a tree growing out of it. Imagine a tree growing out of your grave. I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know. I suppose that's, in a way, that's life coming from death, but... Uh, I don't know, there's some some about that, so that's kind of why I like uh, going around and uh, observing those old graves of those people who have been, you know, in, in some way forgotten. This is a serious grave here now. Quite intimidating in its own way. I don't know what the fuck it says though. I'm so disrespectful, man. I really am Logan Paul. I'm becoming more American by the day.
Oh, look at this over here. Wellington Monument, eat your heart out. What a pest is sick, man. Look at these birds in these graves. The stone birds, I mean, not the real birds. Dude, last night when I, w I was, uh, I was leaving the, the boat party. There's something big over there, too. Uh, a massive rat ran across the road in front of me. It was fucking huge. It had a really long tail. It ran halfway out into the road and then back over into the bushes. And I was walking, there was a lady on a bench nearby. She's the only other person around. And I was walking, I saw her, and I just went, like it, like it just came out of me involuntarily. Don't know if she heard me. All right, here's a big thing. Really don't know how else to describe it. Oh my God, it's actually, it's my grave. Look, Count Adam. Uh, what's it say? Carolite and Countess Catherine Andras. Ooh. Buried in there. It's like a tomb. Put me in there when I die. You can bury me in, in, in this graveyard. You know, a force is a big graveyard. And a lot of free space. You know? Isn't it supposed to be more friendly for the environment to uh, cremate people these days now, isn't it, in any way? Or is it? I mean, the smoke goes up and damages the, the ozone layer, probably, but like for... Because you're going to run out of space in the ground eventually. What do you do, just bury them on top of someone else? I guess you could. Anyway, look at this. Holy shit. Like I'm in Athens or some shit. God, I need to stop talking. Nah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep on talking. Keep on talking. Butterflies. That white butterfly that I, fi I filmed earlier. Well, there was a white butterfly. Remember I filmed one in kind of that park before I crossed the bridge to Margaret Island? And then as I crossed the bridge and I was on the island, there was a white butterfly on the bridge and then on the island. And I like to think it was the same one. And it followed me. Now, did it uh, follow me to be friendly, or did it follow me for nefarious purposes? Well, I don't know. Damn, look at this. We've got the lions. Are they lions? They look like, uh, yeah, like, no, they're, uh, actually that one looks like a panther. I guess maybe a tiger, but... Most people probably would have said tiger first, but I, I went to, like, a female lion, you know, when they don't have the mane. What's, uh, what's that film? The, uh, the Ghost in the Darkness? And there's fucking Empress, goddess herself of some shit, I don't know. And then ab above her, there's like an, an angel with a mace and like a fucking lion head or something. What is going on? What kind of religion do they follow in Hungary? Can you go up there? What the fuck? Is this just... I just Can I just go up here? going up and anyway I'm up here now I hope this goddess doesn't smite me down disrespecting the temple this is fucking sick whoa look at the view the trees and grass and stuff Oh my god, I didn't know any of this shit was here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, and even better. <sighs> nice bit of shade in this corner. <laughs> You'll love to see it. I'm nice and cool in this corner. Wow. The god himself has smiled on me. Dude, I didn't even tell you about the, the guy that was basically a preacher that I met last night. Um... The guy who said I look like John Lennon. You can't really see the guy from up here, the lion head. But look at the... Oh, this is... Wow. There's the tomb of Adam over there. Going down the big steps again. Anyway, um... Yeah, he studies uh, theology. And he was just, he was like, s such a passionate Christian. Um, and uh, we were talking about that. It's too hot for me to do a good summary. Um, 
but he was just he was so passionate and like it was kind of cool like look I'm not a religious person uh, it's like a war of the lions but I think it's cool to see someone with such strong conviction and it brought him such happiness such peace of mind uh, like he had such conviction in God's love for him and for all of us I guess and uh, that was just cool to see I don't share those feelings um, but you know it was cool I would lo I'd love to, uh, to reach that kind of level of ascension and belief in, in anything um, you just encourage me to look into it but it's not going to happen I'm not going to look into it and it's just not going to happen uh, it's, not, it's not for me uh, his, his love for God is kind of like my love for Columbo and uh, you know Columbo was my God Oh, oh, he's not holding the head of the lion. He's got the lion as like a pet. Maybe I should start studying religion, man, because I want to know what fucking Bible verse that guy's from. He's probably a Greek god or some shit, I don't know. Or an Hungarian god. Dr. Anthos. When I see Anthos, I always think of Anthos, the warlock from Scooby-Doo. And then next to him, there's Voros Janos. And Janos always makes me think of uh, Janos uh, Poshka from um, Ghostbusters 2. I believe that character was supposed to be Hungarian? Um, played by Peter McNichol, who was uh, definitely not a Hungarian actor. He's a good actor. He's good in Ghostbusters 2. Very underrated sequel. Look at this circle of death. And the camera's getting warm. Look at this, the gold tower. You can't see how gold it is from up here. I gotta walk over. These shoes are surprisingly comfortable. It's so quiet here, except for me running my fucking mouth as usual. Saying stupid shit. Alright, let's see who's on this. I'm still no closer to finding where that guy is. And I've also... I've lost my path, to be honest. I, I forgot where I was going originally to find the other grave. I might not be able to find that other grave now. But sure we'll see. All right, I walked all the way. You know what it says? A bunch of Hungarian names that I don't know. You know what? That's cool. You know, just because I don't know them, doesn't mean... <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Doesn't mean that they're not hot shit. Those guys rule. Unless they were pricks. I don't know, it could be. Where's Hitler buried? Where's Hitler's grave? But they probably, they'd probably burn his body or something. <sighs> Hope he's not in here. Alive. Why he just came out of the trees? Hitler himself just comes, just comes walking over. Are you wearing the spin shoes? Is the graveyard? Oh my god, dude! I'm gonna get banned from Europe. I'm European, but they won't. Let, they'll. They'll. I'll become an exile. See, this is kind of what I was talking about. Like those are some graves, but they're all overrun with like grass and whatever. Look, that guy's got music on his grave. You know, I can't read music any more than I can read Hungarian. You know, like that guy was somebody. And it just, it can feel like he's maybe a bit kind of forgotten about. He's over here in the shrubs. I'm over here in the shrubs. I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm lost in the, in the graveyard. In the Hungarian square of death. This one's after scaring the shit out of me, Holmes. Look at this. I thought that was a hobo. Damn. Beautiful, tragic. What's this about some Romeo and Juliet shit? You know? It's got pretty nice knockers, I gotta say, for a statue. <sighs> you thought that other girl made a stone had great tits. Check this out. Damn, those are some stone cold classics right there. 
something going on with his face, though. This is cool. We don't have shit like this back home. Like, uh, Glass and Evan Cemetery is cool. There's a lot in it. But, uh... Nothing, nothing like that, let me tell you. A second ago, a, uh, a bug of some sort flew into my mouth. I think it's a curse from me on the grave. You know, for all the, uh, for all the shit I'd be talking. The dead striking back at me. Shove this in your, your big, uh... I don't have that big a mouth. I, I'm just, it's just because of the camera. I'm not like this in real life. I'm worse. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean to disrespect the dead, you know, they're cool, they're here, they're chilling, I'm just some asshole. But then again, if, uh, just because you die doesn't automatically make you a saint either, though, does it? Look at this fucking decrepit building that's on the outside. It's not even in the graveyard. That's terrifying. Jesus. I suppose if you, if you were going to live next to a graveyard, you might as well live in a, in a house like that. I remember us talk about uh, Hitler, he's dead. You now we don't automatically respect him just because he's no longer on this moral coil. Well, I'm sure some people do. I gotta shut the fuck up. I'm talking about Hitler too much. Who remembers? Dave remembers. My friend Dave, okay, one time on Omegle we met this guy. Well, he met this guy, he was just in the room sort of thing. And he was like, uh, he was like, hey brother, have you heard like the good word or some shit he was saying? Can I, can I tell you the good news or something? And Dave was like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this about politics? The guy was like, mm, it's not about American politics. All right, it's about religion. Not about religion, I, I don't actually believe in God. That's the guy said. So Dave was like, all right, fire away. <laughs> he just says, Hitler was a great man. Dave was like, shut the fuck, get this guy the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Gets you thinking, we've met some characters in our time you know I was at a, at a party the other night recently uh, there's some in my mouth again so I think fell off a tree um, and the topic of he will not divide us came up I shouldn't even be telling the story but anyway I just I was re reminded of a, a certain character from that who became a certain character in another way I just realized as I started to tell that story, I was like, I can't tell the story. So I'm going to leave it there, and those who know, know. Oh, look, they even got a Circle K out here. Okay, this looks like the end of the road. So, uh, we're possibly coming up on possibly the grave that might possibly be here. But I... I don't know, I'm not sure. Camera's been holding out pretty well so far. Ooh, this, uh, look at this ground here. That is not pleasant to walk on in these swim shoes. Uh, so I brought these shoes because I'm going to the Sparty later, where I'm supposed to be. So that's a Spa Party Sparty. Uh, so Budapest is famous for its uh, uh, baths, thermal baths, and one of them on uh, Saturday nights that becomes basically like a nightclub venue, and uh, you have a big pool party. So it's, it's drinking and smoking, having the crack, club tunes and bangers and all that, but everyone's um, half naked and swimming in the water. Um, so I didn't have time to go to the baths during the day. Which is kind of when it's more recommended. A lot of people don't seem to recommend Sparty, but when in Rome, you know, I was still kind of curious. I was like, fuck it, I'll just do it. Um, look at this guy looking at me. Look at him looking at me. His eyes follow you. I don't even think he has eyes. But if he did, they'd, they'd follow me. Like that butterfly. Maybe he's the butterfly was the angel, that statue was the devil. Uh, oh, no, there's a I mentioned it, white butterfly. They've come for the, the final battle for my soul. Uh, so anyway, so I booked the Sparty ticket, so I'm going tonight and I brought the swim shoes. Um, now it says that you need slippers slash flip-flops. If you don't have them, you can buy flip-flops there. So like, these are slippers? 
the swim slippers basically uh, so they should do I'm gonna bring them but maybe I'll end up having to buy fucking flip-flops while I'm there probably at an exorbitant price because it seems it seems a little steep you know it's a, it's a little steep for the ticket and then there's a lot more stuff on top of that like I got the basic ticket um, and then uh, but like that doesn't include a lot of stuff um, now you know when I go out I don't I don't drink so I'm not I'm going to be constantly going to the bar and, and buying things, but all that's not included. Um, it seems that there's... Oh my god, look at this. I kind of shouldn't be uh, shit-talking this thing before I go. It might turn out good. Um, but uh, there's like so many rules on their website that's like, we take no responsibility for this, 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 and this. If you show up and you're like, this, 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 uh, we can not let you in even if you've already bought a ticket. It's kind of a steep price, and you won't get a refund. Which is kind of shit. You know, like if you, if you show up with... I mean, I, well, I don't know. But I think that I at least could do is probably just refund you. Like, I get it if you if you show up and you're too drunk, they can't let you in, but like... I don't know, man. Just, uh, just my ramblings and my thoughts. What does it say? Buzzy B? Sounds like a rapper. Buzzy bow, bow dog? What the fuck? Who's he when he's at home? Oh, so that spooked me there when that guy jogged past me because I was talking <laughs> and I didn't realize there was anyone else around. But like, this place is really empty. I hardly met, met anybody. And anybody I didn't meet was probably a ghost. Let me get my spook on. Oh, dude, I was in Little earlier. They had, the, they had their pumpkins out. So you know Halloween's coming. And when I go to Sparty later, girls are gonna have their pumpkins out. Always always nice to see. Anyway. This place is cool. Look at all this. Like what? There's like you know, this heavy foliage and in there there's just like you know, a couple of graves scattered throughout. Kinda kinda a little bit Spooky, if you ask me. A little spooky dookie there. If you ask me, you know, if you don't ask me, I'll tell you anyway. All right, we're just here walking. What was that? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear you asking my opinion. But you know what? This place a little spooky. If you, if you want my opinion, just putting it out there. This is my opinion in the world. A little bit spooky indeed. Spooky, dookie, altogether kooky. It's Adam's family. That's me. It's my family. Me, myself, and I. Alright, I've not found where I thought I was going. It might be down there. Or it might not be. It might be you just walk around in a continuous circle, kind of like uh, Blair Witch. Spooky. Sirens screaming again. Sirens are screaming and the fires are rising right down in the valley tonight. Look at this. A serious grave. For a serious name. Don't, not even going to attempt to pronounce it. I don't even think that is. Is this like a family plot? Because there's like a bunch of names here. Ugh, there's something crawling on my fucking leg. So, I don't know, are they, they all go to the same college or something? Oh, look at those. The gates to hell. Or the gates, the very least, to whatever's on the other side of that gate. Look at this terrifying plant that's up here. See it growing up in the middle of the, uh... In the middle of the, the road there? Don't make me say it. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is uh, quite ominous. Who are these people even supposed to be? That looks like that looks like a bird's, bird's body there, doesn't it? But without a head. And then this has these super creepy old-timey black and white photographs. Oh, they're going to haunt me in my sleep. That's terrifying. 
guy's name is Pappy. And now I got that plant coming towards me as well. All together spooky, let me tell you. You know, just let, let me just, oh my geez, now that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Just an angel child growing out of the earth in amongst the bushes. Jesus, man. Imagine being in here at night. It's so quiet. Imagine being in here alone at night with me. <laughs> Look at this. Prison. The prison of eternal death, I suppose. Got a, an angel boy showing off his ass. What did you do? I feel like something bad's gonna happen to me. I feel like I've been kind of taking the piss out of this grave here. It's a defense mechanism. Yeah, your woman there pointing like she's gonna smite someone down. That's, uh, I feel like that's gonna be me. Oh look, it wasn't a plant growing up out of the road. It, it's a fallen tree branch. Must have been the wind. Literally that kind of explanation. Oh my God. I just like touched that and it, went, and it came up like, like, <laughs> whoa, oh, and then I nearly tripped over a, a bit of a tree. I think this place is out to get me. Down there starting to look a bit familiar. That might be what I'm looking for. Look at those, look at those stone babies. The battery's doing really well. Now that I've said that, it'll probably die. I'll have to put it in the, uh, put it in the ground. Bury my battery in the, uh, Fayuni graveyard. Oh, I stood on a stone. I should watch where I'm going. When I said earlier, I was thinking about it. I was like, I might have walked past. What the fuck is that? That's probably a tree. What in the? Oh, good lord. Okay. I, it's not what I thought it was. Is it? No. Look at this. That's like a that's like a pot, right? Yeah, look, it's just a pot with stuff on it. Like looks like fungus. But from way back there I thought it was like a giant angel head. Because all this stuff, it kinda looked like a face. I thought it was a massive angel head. Oh god. Like soy scoops, I think we better get like the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not me on my cartoon shit. Not me on my shaggy era. I'm always in my shaggy era. Not for long. Yeah, I think the hair's gonna go, man. Hate to say it. Hate to say it. Here's another headless statue. Just cause why not? Just cause you weren't fucking scared enough. Can they at least tape a beach ball on it so it's a bit less... Maybe that would be scarier. What did I stand on? Everything... in this place is out to get me. Or really, there's just a lot of nature and I'm not watching where I'm walking. What's the true answer? You decide. This place is looking a bit familiar. But also, a lot of places in here look alike, so might not be where I want to be at all. Look at this, look at this dude. Bro, look at this dude. Oh no, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bro, look at the top of his head. What in the world? I'm on the graze. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, there's sprinklers over there. I should run over and get some moisture. I think this is where I'm headed anyway. No, I think I might be headed down there. Well, it looks like I'm headed down there because that's where my legs are taking me. Yeah. Oh, this ground is so uneven. That's why I was walking up on the path. Hello. I was walking up the path. I was like, I should get down here. This is where the graves are. Got back down on even road. Now I'm back on this relatively smooth. 
Uh-uh. Look over here, he's like super nice and touched up. Hope I don't get touched up in the graveyard. And again, maybe I hope I do. Okay, let's see uh, what we can find. What do people say? Let, let's see if we can't find what we're looking for. Let's see if we can't find. It's so, uh, so odd. I feel like that's also probably mostly an American thing to say. Oh, Jesus. That was a bird. That was fucking scary. Um, but the worst one is when people say, I could care less. Because that means that you care. Even, even just a little bit means you care. Whereas... So I, I hear Americans say that, and then Europeans tend to say, I could not care less. Which is like, yeah, you absolutely do not give a shit at all. These are just, these are just things that occur to me. Who's this, John the Baptist? Do you think he really had those abs in real life, or... You know, he, he requested upon death, will you please, uh... We please sculpt me abs, make me look like I was a hunk. I get bitches in heaven. But of course, when you go to heaven, would you look like yourself? Would that be part of the happiness of heaven? Was that if you went to heaven, you could choose to be whoever you wanted to be? Probably not. But I suppose the happiness of heaven would probably come in other ways. Like if, like if you were fuck ugly and you went to heaven, you said, you know what, I want to be heaven, I want to be handsome. I don't know that you, you could change so that you looked handsome, but uh, there'd probably be ways that you could still get laid in heaven, even if you're fuck ugly. I mean, I'm just, I'm just guessing. I should, I should ask my friend, um, John the Baptist. His name was John, the guy that I met. Oh look, he looks serious. His name's Doctor, but he looks like a military guy. The grave I'm looking for may be in amongst these. It also may not. A lot of doctors here. A lot of doctors. If I'm feeling sick, I know which area of the graveyard to go. He also kind of looks like a military man. Military doctors. Maybe they're in uh, MASH. Fuck is this? Look at the fucking mark of the eagle here. Card out of wood. Kiss Robert. Uh, holy flushed emoji. What if it said Kiss Rob E? Send that to Starcaster. The grave said it. You gotta do it. You know. Grave said it. What's this? Look at this lone grave just out here by itself. What does that have? Fucking syphilis or some shit? What's up with that? I, I, I didn't find what I was looking for. We'll go over here where the uh, sprinklers are. This is getting out of control. I can't believe that grave told me to kiss Robert. Times they are a changing. Oh, I'm sweating. Sweating just thinking about kissing Robert. Ooh la la. Whoa, big cobweb there. Big, uh... Dude, there's a massive cobweb in my, uh... In my hotel room behind the curtain. I, got, I gotta show you. I don't know what I'm looking for here. What's this? Is this the control for the, uh... The sprinkler system? Sabotage it? Shit, I hope it doesn't get any on the camera. Oh shit, it's coming right at me. Does it rotate out onto the pathway? It looks like it... Whoa! Yeah, it kind of stops when it reaches the path. I wouldn't mind getting some zombie though, I'm sweltering. We got anybody in here? Nah, no one I recognize. Oh my... Oh Jesus, it's getting on me. Now look, first... First that grave told me to uh... But that's after soaking me actually. First that grave told me to uh, to kiss Robert, and this one is telling me to come in Arthur. Just fucked up. Carl, Carl Maria's agenda has, uh, has spread all over the graveyard. It's making me a lover of men. I've, I've stopped, I've sat down near the sprinklers, and under the Hungarian flag is up there. Uh, gonna have a quick snack. I've started uh, these 
uh, chocolate sandwich uh, biscuit things. Is my zoom still on? No, okay. Um, which are really nice, these things you fucking love, you can live off of these. Uh, so far this is probably the best thing that I've had here. The kind of chocolate cream in the center could be a bit thicker, I would say. Oh shit, it came off. That's sprinkler stuff. But these are the best. So I had to... I had to stop earlier while I was I was eating my chocolate bars. I still have the rest of the bars. I didn't I didn't open anything else. To be honest, I didn't finish the sport or the the cappa cappuccino or whatever it's called. That was uh that was very strong, very strong taste uh, aftertaste of coffee. And I like I don't like coffee. I dropped my thing. I don't drink coffee, but I like coffee flavor in things. You know, coffee cake. A coffee brownie, sometimes a coffee biscuit, but uh, oh god, it was very rich, very rich. And then after I took a bite of that, I was like, oh Jesus! I went back to the sport bar, and just the the taste of the sport mixed with the aftertaste of coffee. <coughs> Joking at that, just thinking about it, just all about it, like tears are in my eyes, you know. Ah, uh, it was uh, it was not good. So I hate to do it. I just, I just put them in the bin. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't finish them. Um, so yeah, I have. I, I didn't even bring the other bars with me. I, I left them back at the hotel. Uh, I'm gonna try those probably tomorrow. Um, there was one or two others that I had on my list that I didn't get. Yeah, there's one that I did see called the Turo Rudy, which is kept in the frozen section. Uh, because it's chocolate with a center of cream cheese. As I said earlier, I'm not a fan of cheese. So, I mean, I know it's cream cheese, it's different, but like, I don't know, that doesn't sound appetizing. So I think I'll give those a miss. Um, anyway, I was eating my sandwich where I have an open one. I kind of feel like I gotta take a shit now, but I don't know if there's toilets around here. So whatever, we just hold it. Thankfully I'm not far, well, the graveyard isn't far from the hotel by the entrance I came in. I'm probably a bit far from the entrance that I came in. It's probably about 20 minutes. Anyway, I found the location of the grave I wanted to see on Google Maps about five minutes from here so we're gonna go there next these are really nice oh I, I dropped it fuck it five second rule oh look oh it looks really pretty it looks like it's an okay era so anyway thank you fuck the fuck up little thing there I don't know what it is can't get to it well I mean I, I could but I'm in shorts as, as you recall so my legs would probably get scratched to shit walking uh, through that. Look at this thinking woman here. Deep in thought. And she's wearing high heels. She's not showing off her ankles actually. That's a respectable lady. Now this one, don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you about this one. And look, I'm not I'm not complaining. Alright? I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm just pointing them out. I mean they're 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 kinda hard to miss. Oh, dude, it's so Halloween season here. As I said, you know, people have got their uh, their pumpkins out, you know. So over here, so she's just gonna want to come over here. The leaves are really crunchy. So I want to go. Hang on, let me check uh, on the map. Yeah, around the corner, three minutes approximately around the corner. But knowing uh, how easily distracted I get could be a could be a lot longer. This area is starting to look. I said that before, but like I, I scoped this place out on, on on maps before. Again, look at all the. This area is very heavily uh, wooded. So yeah, Google Maps was able to give me like the exact location it would seem with like latitude and longitude coordinates of um this grave but it, it won't 
even tell me which section of the graveyard uh, Carl, Carl Maria is in. Look at this. I feel really so bad now because there's people. Like, Look at this. This is only a recent one. Well, 98. Like, that's a modern picture. This year my sister was born, you know? That lady's been dead for as long as my sister's been alive. Nearly, nearly as long as I've, I've been alive, to be honest. I better keep an eye on that because I'll probably end up walking past the actual. Uh, grave so i gotta keep an eye on the uh, old uh, google maps there that's guiding me look at this guy gotta be honest bit of a grumpy ghost you know couldn't you could you make him look like he looks a bit cross-eyed actually his eyes are not the same shape and he's all jowly so whoever made that sculpture must not have liked that gentleman very much to be honest, if, uh, if that was my last Zoom memorial, uh, I'd be I'd be pissed if I'd be coming back to haunt your ass. Put put the put the naked titty lady on my grave. You know, I'll put the put that shit on me when I'm still alive. Put that on me when I'm still here. Okay, look at this. Okay, it's literally right uh, along here. It says. Kiss Emery. Okay, look, the 1997. This person's been dead for as long as I've been alive. So, uh, I, I, it's just not possible that I could, I could kiss her. I'm afraid. It's just out of the question. Yes, I've been here before in Google Maps. That's a cool one. Look at this bench. This bench is probably in worse shape than some of the uh, some of the people in here. Look at that. That's very gothic, especially with the uh, the cobwebs. But it's cool. I like it. This is the one? I'm not sure now. I can't find, uh... Apparently I'm here, so it's one of these. It's, it's along here at some, some point, apparently. So, uh, now we gotta do some, uh... Investigating. This one's really creepy, because it looks like a green circle until you get close and you realize that there's a face on it. Spooky, indeed. Look at that one. Getting uh, getting pretty abstract over here, I gotta say. Look at that. There's a work on modern art right there. Where is this one? Maybe it's on the far side. Ah, oh, keep stepping on shit. Step on him. Look at this. What the fuck, man? Looks like a Velociraptor's asshole. Oh my god, we're finally here. That was such a disappointing reveal. But here we are at the grave of Zsa, Zsa Gabor, a famous Hollywood actress. Um, so when she died in 2017 or 2018, it doesn't say it. I don't recall. She, you know, she was 99 years old. She was originally buried. I believe, in uh, Los Angeles. And there was some kind of family thing or whatever. And they exhumed her body, flew it over here, and then had it reburied properly here in uh, 
Budapest is because she was uh, Hungarian, apparently. Old Zsa Zsa Gabor. Zsa Zsa Gabor and two of the greatest movies. Uh, two very good sequels. Uh, one of them probably not as good as the original is uh, she's in Naked Gun Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear. <coughs> and then she's also in A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Best Elm Street movie in my opinion. One of the best horror, probably probably best horror sequel ever, I would say. Uh, it's it's up there for sure. And between those two films, she probably has <coughs> uh, like a, a total, like a combined screen time of less than 30 seconds. But um, nonetheless, that is what I remember her for, you know? Um, you know, her, her long life, 99 years old, accomplished uh, career. But uh, nah, those two movies that she's in, she's in the opening credits of Naked Gun 2 and a half. She punches out the siren and says, every fucking time I go shopping. And then she's in uh, Dream Warriors. She's in the, uh, the amazing scene with the legend Dick Cavett, where Dick Cavett becomes Freddy Krueger and kills Zsa Zsa Gabor. What a scene. And then that leads into, of course, maybe the best Freddy Krueger scene ever, which is when his head comes out of the, the TV and he picks up the girl and he says, this is it, Jennifer, your big break in TV. And she's like, ah, ah. And he goes, welcome to prime time, bitch. Push. Absolute fucking kinography, if ever I saw it, you know? So yeah, Zsa Zsa Gabor, thank you for being part of that scene, you know? Not, not much more to say, it was a, it was an epic struggle to get, there's a teddy bear here, which looks really fresh. So this was probably placed here recently. And if there was a big effort by the family to get her moved to this cemetery rather than LA, than in LA, there's probably, I don't know, I guess a lot of her family living here in Budapest who, who come to the grave fairly regularly. Uh, I would imagine, anyway. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I couldn't find Carl Maria. I have no idea where he is. Um, but I found Zsa Zsa. You know, rest, rest in peace. 99, that's, 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 that's a good old fucking life and age. And wasn't she married like five times or something? So... <laughs> That, that is a, a life lived. What's this supposed to be? And you know, you wonder, I mean, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's a bit late now. Like, obviously, I don't know who any of these other people are, but you, you do wonder. Zsa Gabor is, is quite famous, so you, you know, you wonder who are these people that are next to her? You know, her neighbors. Are they anybody? I mean, there must be if they have graves like that. The, the Velociraptor anus. But you know, it's just it's just interesting. Who are these people that I don't know? You know, they have all these these big graves, and they're and they're laying next to a, you know, so was, you you might call her a legend. I mean, she was in fucking Nightmare on Elm Street. She was killed by Freddy Krueger. That is legendary. You know, she was killed by Dick Cavett as Freddy Krueger. That's even more legendary. That's better. That's even better. I wish they'd uh, they'd made a whole series. I mean, as much as I love Robert England, a whole series of Dick Cavett playing uh, Freddy Krueger would just fucking pop off. Some of look at this. This is like this is like new almost. Yeah, 20, 2023. Um, again, I just I wonder if these people were like well celebrities or something is what I'm, i was going to say you know somebodies but that's very disrespectful because everybody here is a somebody and and everybody who i've glanced over because i don't know them is as deserving as of much interest and respect as zaza gabor just because she was famous and lives in beverly hills doesn't mean that she's any more worthy of note it just means that i don't know note was made i suppose hang on look there's here's another gabor but gabor is a very common surname over here so it doesn't uh doesn't mean and, and they're not right next to each other so I don't uh, I don't know if there's any connection there there's something cool looking over here anyway my some some point about well that's I mean you know in the end we all go to the same place although you could argue that in the end we don't <laughs> um, but that's uh, I guess that's that's a different issue this one's interesting 
I mean, is this a sign for something or is this a grave? Look at this. No, that's a grave. That's cool. I mean, again, don't know the guy. I would assume, is he a painter? And maybe he painted this. This is his design. Damn. Man, you really run the gamut of emotions when you, uh, you, you take a walk with me through a foreign city, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me also say this, even if you didn't ask. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, right? A little spooky around here at times. You know, just at times, not necessarily right now. I'm not in fear for my life from the ghost of Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Seem very Scooby-Doo. Right, well that is... She, you know, I wanted to see her grave and I would have liked to find Karl Maria's grave. Ah, uh, I've accepted I'm probably not going to. And what time is it now? I've only st I think I still have a decent amount of time. This place doesn't close till 7. It's half 5. I could wander around for another little bit. Sparty doesn't start till like half 9. And I'm not going to do anything else in between. It's too far. So... I guess I'll just... I'll, I'll keep on wandering. Maybe I will find Carl... Carl Maria. I honestly... I probably walked past him. That's the catch. You know, I could have found him if I kept my eyes out, but I'm, I'm too busy uh, talking about my own shit. What an egomaniac. Oh, I'm on the rough, the rough ground again. I'm going to go up over here. I wonder how long this video is going to turn out to be compared to uh, Amsterdam, which I said it was like, maybe I'll make like a quick little 15 minute in and out thing. And it was, what, just, just over two hours? A uh, huge thank you and shout out to the people who watched it all the way through. I did not think anybody would. Like, I sent it to different groups and been like, you know, here, check this out. Because, like, uh, you know, shout out certainly to my friend Patrick from James Bond Club Ireland, um, who I think watched a good, a good chunk of it. Um, because I did a little bit of Bond stuff. But then he watched all the other non-Bond stuff. So, you know, it's just... I appreciate that. Um, Ryan, I don't know I, I don't know if you're watching this whole thing. Uh, busy boy over in London there these days, but I think you watched all of it. I think you listened to it. You said it was a good listen, so I think you put it on and you did something else while it was in the background. But nonetheless, that is very much appreciated. Um, Shauna, watch it for days. You watched my video for days. You were the first person to, I think, to watch the whole thing and to comment on it, comment on every part of it. Very, very much appreciated. Um, and look, I don't, I don't expect it of anyone. I don't know that anyone's going to. Uh, this guy's name is Dr. Springer. Sometimes I wonder if I have like ADHD or something. Uh, oh, there's, a, there's a bug on me. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, but yeah, anyone who uh, continue, especially at this point, continues to support my channel after a long absence, where I just didn't put any content out for the better part of a year. I hope to do better going forward. I'm not saying I will do better. I'm just saying that I hope. To. And we live in hope, as they say. This is an alien spacecraft over here. I started watching The X-Files last week. I've never seen The X-Files, even though apparently it's it's very, very up my alley. Um, you know what, I am enjoying it so far. I'm about halfway through the first season. I'm enjoying it, but I don't, I'm not loving it. I'm not like hooked yet, um, but some episodes have been very good. Um, some are a bit like, <laughs> what are you doing? It feels like the show is kind of really getting to grips with itself and finding its footing, which is, I'm giving it a lot of the benefit of the doubt. I think it will be much better, because there, there's like nine seasons or something, and there's no way it's at that level for nine seasons, so I'll stick with it. Um, 
Some of them have really cool concepts. I feel like they'd work better as maybe a half hour show than 40 minutes. They're maybe a little bit stretched, but you know, it's good though. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, I am enjoying it for the most part. I'm very much enjoying uh, David Duchovny's performance. He's not the world's greatest actor, but his kind of eccentric take on uh, on Mulder is a, is a lot of fun. Uh, my, my good friend Dave said it best. He was like, that, that show's format, The X-Files is so good. You got fine-ass Scully, schizo self-destructive Mulder, and just fun, episodic, Monster of the Week shit. What more do you need, all right? A hot girl and a crazy guy, weird monsters, Kino, you know? Look at this dude. He actually looks like um, the, uh, speaking of the X-Files, the member, Oh, he's like a painter, but just something at a glance made me think of uh, Mr. Burns in the X-Files episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> Remember when Homer encounters, like, a, like a, an, is it, does he think he's an, an angel or an, an alien? He thinks he's an alien. This glowing green thing that comes out of the, uh, the woods and Mulder and Scully show up to investigate. The Springfield Files is called. That's a funny episode. And at the end, it, it turns out it's Mr. Burns. Because Smithers says something. It's like, every week he has to go through with this intense medical thing. And he says, uh, to keep him alive for another week. <laughs> That's so good. Need to watch that one again. Also, that episode, by extension, brings The Simpsons into like the Tommy Westfall universe, doesn't it? Um, because X-Files is linked to that uh, by uh, that guy. Uh, who passed up. Richard Belzer playing Munch, who's in Law and Order, and he's in all those shows. You know what I'm talking about, the Tommy Westfall universe. Whoa, what's that? This is. This is incredibly distressing. Look at this. I have to say, that's quite. See, this is what I mean. I don't mean to be disrespectful to this clearly young. She must have died at a young age. Like, um, kind of be like, oh, look at her, her weird grave. But that's a fucking spooky looking grave. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's fucking weird looking. But, you know, rest in peace to that girl, if indeed she died at a young age. Look at that. Put some damn clothes on, woman. This is a graveyard. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta get a good angle of her ass. The Horny Dead. That must be a film. And it was probably made by by somebody called uh like a Bill Bill Zabub. I don't know if you guys know the director Bill Zabub, he did uh Jesus Christ Serial Rapist. Uh if anybody's seen that movie. Forgive me for raping you, I think he did that too. Deny the pumpkin, which doesn't sound that uh what's the word? Uh, I can't think of it. Not sensationalist. Um he did, uh, he did, uh, uh, Dalla Morte. Uh, I think he, he, I think he might have done the Slaughtered Vomit Dolls trilogy. I could be wrong, there could be someone else. I'm just casually just zo zooming in on her bits while, uh, I'm talking. So why not? Um, and he did, uh, what did he do? He did Ant Farm Dickhole, which I've not seen, but I saw the post before. That, that was enough. Anyway, he'd, he'd, he'd make a movie that was kind of the horny dead, or maybe like a Fred Olin Ray type. Yeah, like a Jim Wynorski, Roger, like a Roger Corman studio. Jim Wynorski would make something like that for, uh, for Roger Corman, I imagine. Man, when I started coming out of the hotel, the, uh, the, uh, the swimming drunks kept, uh, kept riding up my ass, but, uh, they're, they're much more comfortable now. I haven't had a problem with them in a while. Just letting you know. Whoa, this, this grass is really thick. It's kind of scratching at my ankles. I shaved my legs, by the way. Damn, he looks good. Like, this is ominous. Look at all these, like, you know, nice, pristine, kind of mostly white graves. And then there's, like, this, this big, large, dead area. And then just, like, one lone black grave. And look, there's like a weird mutant plant growing out of it. 
the fuck? She gives me bad vibes. Look at that, that's a whole castle in and of itself. And where am I? <laughs> Wonder how far I am from like the other end of the, uh, the thing. Look, we got another uh, thing here. Oh Jesus. I've noticed a lot of these around. Um, I don't know if that water's drinkable and I'm not gonna risk it because it's mostly, they have it here to water the plants. You can fill up your, your watering can and water your flowers kind of thing. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's a good idea to drink it. I still have about half a bottle of water with me. I filled it up in one of the, the safer ones earlier on the Margaret Island that are, are definitely supposed to be used for that sort of thing. Drinking is uh, the sort of thing that I'm, I'm referring to there, obviously. Look at this. What in the world? Oh, it must be the last name first? Because they're all called Kammer. So it must be the Kammer family. But then also some of them are Fluss. I don't know, Walt. You've been acting kind of Fluss lately. Whoa, what's that? I nearly walked past it. I remember that fucking Acropolis that I climbed earlier? That shit popped off. There's a thing stuck to the bottom of my shoe. Not anymore. Kick that shit off. It's a bitch, get the fuck off my foot, you know? What in the world is this? That looks like a tree, but it's the carving of the... You know when trees look like this? Or is it? No, it is a tree. Or is it con- I don't- I don't know. No, it's con- it's- it's- Yeah. It's man-made. It's not a tree. Oh my god, I don't look like such a fucking idiot in these. Ugh. <sighs> Stumped on it. Okay, where are we gonna go next? Oh, shoulders starting to get a little tired. I empty. I, I left a lot of stuff back at the hotel because I'm not carrying around the heavy. I keep ending up. I keep wandering out onto this uneven ground. Here, what if I walk like this for a while and you just get a nice view of my legs? Hmm. POV. You're mean. You're walking. God, I'm really sweating now. Just saying that. Kind of, kind of made me sweat a little. A little bit sweaty. I'm gonna, gonna tell you. Probably the spooky vibes. This is the because like in, in Amsterdam there was a lot of neck action. So I was just looking at my neck. There might still be. I don't think there's as much, but there might still be. But now you gotta you got a lot of neck action to make up for it. Look at these, the ancient ruins. Don't disturb those. They'll inspire the wrath of the eternally damned. What's this? This isn't what I climbed earlier. This is another, a different big thing. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of big things in this, uh... Oh, shit! Thing tried to trip me up. Look at all this. Like, I didn't see any of this. This place is just huge. Ugh, what's on me? God damn, look at that. I guess that's a circle of life in a way. What is this? you man having a kip in his bed. Oh, that, there's a U that thing has the UK flag in it. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of scared to go over. Might meet people from the UK. Kind of strange. What's this? Wow, oh, there's another one over there. Now there are two of them. This is getting out of hand. Let's go up on the steps. I climbed a, a water. Th well, it was called a water. I mean, it wasn't like a water tower, but I climbed a thing in a 
Margaret Island earlier that I couldn't get. I mean, the camera was dying, but also the, uh, the uh, photography was uh, forbidden. I mean, I snuck a, snuck a little cheeky picture on my phone now. Man, that was tiring. That was exhausting. And yeah, when I when I got off the island, I I walked back to the Columbus statue, and I just got a taxi back to the hotel. It was not working. The bag was too heavy. My feet were sore in the boots. I was sweating. You know, I have shit that I want to do. Oh, look at those judgmental eyes. He knows you're here to take a picture of the baby's ass. He does not approve. Sweet Jesus. Shit gonna give me nightmares. We go through here. Let my love open the door. I think you could open it. And you just grab that one. And you can just look at the body. Fucked up. Oh my god, I'm so warm. Even now in the evening. It was like it was like 29 degrees earlier when I was climbing that tower. Finna die. Honestly, like, I mean it was cool, but I went in because uh, they had a toilet in there. You had to you had to pay in to use the toilet, but it was like fuck it. I'll pay in, look at the thing, use the toilet. Wow! You know, that was there. There's probably one at the other end that I missed, too. What an asshole. Alright, let's go over now to the other one. Oh my god, how am I going to dance all night? Dude, I was, I, was, I was standing in one spot yesterday, okay? On the boat. I was standing in one spot on the corner of the boat. And I'm like, bopping. But I, like, I wasn't, I wasn't even like, moving. So you know, like, I wasn't even doing this when I was dancing. All right, I was standing there, I was going like this. You know, as you do. I was bopping. I was enjoying the tunes. But I wasn't moving. I didn't take any steps. And my Fitbit went off and said that I'd, I'd hit my step count. I'd reached 10,000 steps. So I had been counting the movements that I'd been doing. It counted them as steps. I don't know. Fucked up. All right, we're back again. This one's even kind of creepier looking. Some of this reminds me of the James Bond movie Spectre when he's in Rome. And then some of it also reminds me of Goldeneye. When he's in the, uh, oh my god. He's in like the Soviet cemetery with all the unused uh, statues. No comments from me? Whoa, what am I saying? I thought that was somebody trying to get out. Whoa, what's this? Like the fucking Turin Shroud? Is that like, obviously I know, I know that's not it, but man. Whoa, I nearly, look, step there. I nearly walked straight into that. But it went to me fucking face. Who's this guy? One hell of a mustache, let me tell you. Larry? Is that, that looks like Lennon, to be honest. Who's this guy? Who's this guy supposed to be? Don't think we've seen him before. Alright, they're kind of mostly the same. We're going to go through to the other side now. The other side! King Willie says I not only have to kill you, but take your life. I have to take your soul. Some voodoo shit. Fucking voodoo magic man. I kind of butchered a lot of that quote, but and there there are two different quotes from two different scenes as well But from the same movie 
Am I going to tell you which one it is? No, because you know. You know. What's going on here? Damn. Bro is hard at work, even in death. You hate to see it. He must have been a sinner in life, let me tell you. I'm going to work even in death. Look at that. Sheesh. Where did I come from? Where did I go? I'm not going to say the rest of it. Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. I didn't say that. Someone else said it and I lip sync. That's just the time I said it. Well, what's this? Alright, that's where I came from. So I was coming from over there, wasn't I? I'm headed down that way. Shag Highway heading west. Love actually is all around us. Oh, down the steps. Oh, back on the uneven surface. Oh my god. Dude, it's so warm. Don't know if I don't know if I don't know if I mentioned that. But it's it's warm and a little spooky in these parts. So that's where we were. That was the circle and then these are the, the two ones I came up. Look at this, this one's pretty creepy too. The girl coming up over the top of it. Mmm. Most unsettling. Gotta say. Guy guy drove past me a minute ago and uh got no shirt on. In his car, imagine the cheek of him. I mean I'm walking around me me, me oaks, but uh, you know, steady on mate. Time to place. Alright, I think at this point what I'm gonna do I probably I think I'm headed towards the exit. Well, I'll probably head out. Um yeah, I'll probably head out back to the hotel and then I might just read or something for a while. Maybe go to sleep. I'll probably read those books that I didn't get a chance to read on the plane. Oh look at this. I wonder if this one works. Dude, it smells like a farm. I don't think it does. It smells like a farm over here. Um Jesus, so look! Uh, okay. <laughs> a little bit spooky. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'll just chill out for a while because I'm mean, still. It's just after six now. Yeah, it's only only about five past six. Again, the party doesn't start till half nine. So that's that's still a, a good couple hours. But it's about a half an hour away from the hotel walking. Um, I've not been up that way before. It's the opposite way to where I went last night. Um, dude, trying to find the way, again, Google Maps, as always, fucked me up. I was on the right path, and then it started drifting and telling me to go other fucking ways. I spent 15 minutes, probably, walking in a circle, before I ended up back where uh, where I was actually supposed to be. Let's let's walk around. I, I wasn't here, because, look, there is, I came in there, and then there is the New World Order, so I went that way and all the way around. Um, so when I think about it, I think I've actually covered most of the graveyard. Well, there are probably a lot of midsections that I missed, which is probably where old uh, Carl Marie is. Oh, this guy's got lions over here. Maybe they're dogs. I think it's a lion. Um, and, you know, I'll have a shower and stuff first, get ready. So, uh, I think that's, that's what I'll, I'll do, if, if you care. Look at that mustache. That's base. Mustache. Even in death. That's what I call base right there. This guy's also got a mustache and he's got something a flag. This is a this is a manly man. This is a man's man right here. Damn.
Yeah, because I'm not I'm not gonna try to squeeze anything else in between now and going to the uh, party. I just hope they don't come up with some bull. Oh, they're not lions. They're like rams, I guess, are they? Yeah. Two of them. Based. He is the shepherd. Oh, for a second, that was David from Prometheus. Beardy McBeardson. Um, I just hope they don't come up with some bullshit reason to not let me in. So I just, I have some sinking feeling that some shit like that would happen. I don't know why, I just, I just... I still, I, I always tend to assume the worst is going to happen. But everything else has been smooth sailing so far. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'll do. I think I'll bring. So I have. They'll give. They'll give me a locker. So I'll bring a bag. You know, and I can go back and forth to the locker. He's got a mustache as well. Look at him. I can go back and forth to the locker, so I might bring the camera with me and try to kind of get, uh... Dude, the, the boat party wasn't packed at all. As you can see, as I'll, because I'll, I'll splice in the footage ahead of time. I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the ground again. It looks a bit smoother up here. Yeah, so it wasn't jammers, so, like, I probably could have brought the camera, to be honest. And gotten better quality footage of the, uh, the boat party. Um, so, I think I'll, I think I'll risk it to, uh, night. Probably not with the, uh, tripod attachment now. You can hear the energy on my voice, dude, I'm so tired. Walking all day. Talking nonsense all day. Every day. Yeah, go back to the hotel, have a lie down. Rest me shoulders and me feet before, uh... Dude, I'm seriously not beach body ready, let me tell you. When I rock up, when I rock up, man, my pumpkins will be out, let me tell you. I need to go back to uh, Little in the morning and get some more of those sandwich biscuits. Yeah, stock up on those. I don't know if I'll get the jam rings again. They're nice, but I'll probably just go for the, the sandwich biscuits. <laughs> And there was a park kind of around the corner from the hotel that I, I found accidentally because I didn't need to go through it to get to the boat party. But Google Maps took me that way. But I was so stressed trying to figure out Google Maps. I didn't really get to stop and enjoy it, but it looked like a nice spot. Got some water features, which I'm a fan of. I love, I love water and ponds and stuff. This is a little cool, cool little area here. Um, so, but I don't know... If I'll have time, I'm already kind of reconsidering my plans. One of the things that I thought was a surefire thing I was definitely going to do tomorrow, I'm now not so sure because it's it's a good deal of walking in the opposite direction from the other thing that I want to do tomorrow. But I mean, when I come see, obviously, a lot of this would be easier if I if I just figured out public transport. I'd probably get like trams and stuff out there or buses, um, which would probably be easiest. But I've not done it, so I can either walk it or I could get a taxi over, which I wouldn't mind, I suppose. I mean, I'm on fucking holiday, so I might as well. But I don't know if I feel like walking all the way over and back again. To to be honest, and my swim shoes will be wet by then. I mean, they'll dry overnight a little bit, but I don't know if enough to wear them. Even then, I don't know if I could wear them halfway across the city. But again, I don't know how, how much I want to be walking in, uh, in the boots. Look at this. Oh, the, the, the battery looks like it's finally going to give up on me again. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank God, says you. Uh, and I'll go and recharge it and stuff. I'll be back later. Well, it's Sparty time! Okay, welcome to the Sparty. I don't know if you can hear me. Check it out.
She's supposed to be. I do like the music's better than the boat party, though, to be honest. Who's that? Shit where they, they kind of play, if they played a really popular song, it was like some shit club remix. It sucked. They we're playing, I don't know if I have a clip of it, I can't remember. Playing like some shitty club remix of Staying Alive. And at the part where he goes, I'm staying alive. It would go, I'm staying alive. And then it goes on forever and ever and ever before you get a you get a bass drop. That shit's terrible. That shit's terrible. Staying alive is a classic. You know? What the fuck are they doing? I should come here during the day. Alright, it lo it looks plenty quiet at this end. So I hope the intimidating security guy doesn't come and, and scare me. Look, those guys have phones in the pool. Alright, I'm going in, alright? Yeah, the foot's in. That's not that warm. 
one, but that's got the cleansing water. Okay. Got it dirty. Right at the track of this. Oh. <laughs> 
on the boat. I was hoping that maybe they'd be kind of building up to it. Oh, my God. 
going in.
Got Luca Pettis, the angel.
Everything being warm, where everything being cold. It was so cold. The last song was on for about 10 minutes. It's the same beat over and over and over. Or whatever. But I could get it out of my head. I already forgot it. I don't remember. Big bubble back.
Alright, I'm gonna sit the same thing. I don't know. I don't know what's now the front of Germany. Banger zone, banger alert. We're gonna go down to the other boat for this one.
you to do it but uh, i'm already recording oh my god it's too late well thank you okay so uh, we, we've gone to or whatever cheers what's that is that 
It's Hungarian cheers. Egedusha Pushbuga? It's Egeshegedren. Okay. What you say? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> and uh, Slauncha is Irish. Oh, cheers. Slauncha. So I'm gonna. The outside is already melting. Yeah, it's too hot. So hot, so hot. Mm. I'm too hot, it's because I'm holding it. I gave myself a compliment. The, the Irish one saying that he was cold blooded, but also he is hot. Uh, <laughs> well, a little bit narcissistic on his side. A little bit. A little bit. Just tiny. There's a, there's a saying uh, cold hands, warm heart. Oh, so yeah. If you have cold hands, it means you're a good person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, oh, yeah. I don't know if the opposite is true. You know, <laughs> if you have warm hands, are you a crook? You know? Oh. Cold, cold heart. Oh, it sounds, um, sounds like it made sense. So watch out for warm handed people. <laughs> but you what's should, your hand? You should have given me this advice <laughs> like months before. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never to receive Better wisdom. Late than never, yeah. I suppose. Anyway, so I should introduce my ice cream. Yeah, introduce uh, your ice cream. In this vlog, in Adam's vlog, yeah. he's Irish, if you don't believe it. Oh my God, you're gonna make me self-conscious. I don't know, I, I won't be watching you, I won't be watching you. <laughs> Millions of people will be watching this. Probably, probably not. Millions of bots, mm, okay? That's more likely, yeah. So I appreciate the vote of confidence descri there. Describe the first flavor. On so, top of it, we have... On the top, in the middle, we have cinnamon ice cream. Yeah. And next, we have kiwi and banana. What a great and combination. on the outside, chocolate. Good old chocolate. Well, as I was just saying to my friend Stefa here, that um, I got three flavors that I like. Not necessarily three flavors that go well together. You know what, so far the kiwi and the banana and the chocolate, it's okay, mm. you know? Um, and I've not had a kiwi flavor ice cream before. I don't like kiwi. Nah, not really by itself. I have a friend who's allergic to kiwi. He can't eat it. He dies. His head explodes. Why people stop? But not, um, not the way our heads are going to explode. Oh. It's different. Because we're going to explode because of our big egos. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> you sure you don't want any? I'm sure. Uh, I will try just because it's said, but I'm actually like not a huge sweet lover. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Don't drop any of my chocolate. What do you think? It's good. Um, that's my review. Yeah. It's good. Three out of five stars. Okay. Because it's too sweet for me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Burr unloved chocolate, you know. Too sweet. Too sweet. He's friend zoned. The chocolate. He's sugar zoned. Which is he sugar zoned? <laughs> sugar zoned. You got sugar zoned. That's rough. It was disappointing, but in a good way. Yeah, that's me. That's mm -hmm. what's gonna say say on my uh, my headstone when I die. Disappointing. Either at age twenty seven or 60? in my sixties. <laughs> one, one or the other, and and no point in between. <laughs> no point in between. Here lies Adam. He was disappointing, but in a good way. In a good way. You know. In Thank you. He died of head exploding. Yes, that's definitely, that's what's going to happen. How do we stop the recording? The, the, the same, same? Not Stephanie being horrible with technology. Okay, we're here in front of the Opera House. Check it out. It's a serious building. There's Steph over there. She's uh, figuring out where we're going to go next. Look, if you see across the road here, Okay, you know what they got over here? An absolutely massive W. You'll love to see it. A massive W.
vigyázzanak az ajtók zárónak. Egy ilyen házakat, amikor a házakat építik, hogy csinálnak egy emelvényt. A Vörös Marti utca következik. Okay, so uh, it is now, man, let me take this off, Sunday morning, I don't know what time it is. I still don't know, I can't see it, I can't see it because of the glare on the screen, so I still don't know what time it is. Anyway, we're in uh, Heroes Square, which is one of the top scenic destinations in Budapest, uh, which is right on the edge of the city park, which we're then going to explore. Now, I was actually in the park last night because that is where the, the Sparty is. Uh, it's kind of over the far side. So I already walked through the park, but it was at night. And uh, I, didn't really, I didn't really get to see much of it. And there's a castle here in the grounds with a name that uh, I cannot pronounce. Uh, we're gonna go see that because there's something there that's really cool. Make a phone call. I'm, oh my god, what's this? Why? Okay. I'll answer that later. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, over there you can see there's a, a kind of a, a hot air balloon looking thing. Which I, I passed last night. I believe that's uh, an area called Balloon Park. Creative name for it. A little park that's got a, a balloon in it. And there's lots of cool statues here. Um, this area has been a filming location for quite a lot of things, not all of which I can remember. Uh, but the standout to me that I remember is um, the last Die Hard movie, Die Hard 5, where they're in Russia. They shot a lot of that here, Budapest, Dublin for Russia. Um, so there are some specific sequences that are, are actually taking place here in Heroes Park. Hero Square, sorry, on the edge of the city park um, with uh, John McLean, Bruce Willis and his son what's his name? Jack McLean, Jai Courtney and, uh, and so on and so forth but that was the worst Die Hard movie so I don't really care uh, anyway we're gonna go on through the, uh, the park and uh, see, see what we find right in front of you a bird which bird? we don't know It looks like a, a heron, maybe something similar. We have a lot of herons back home, but I didn't actually, you know, know what? That was a word. The co the colors are different now that I look mm. at it. But maybe it, it's very. His cousin. Yes, his cousin Randy, mm. who's also in uh, vacation here in beautiful Spain, <laughs> where we are. Oh, I am. This is this little dude we found? He's reading a little book. Well, it doesn't say what book it is that he's reading. I think it's uh, what is it called? How Dracula? Dracula, maybe. It's supposed to be him, I think. So this is Dracula. Well, he's got the Dracula cape. Yeah. He's, he looks quite sad because Dracula dies at the end. Mm. You know Dracula, written by Bram Stoker. Yeah. Bram Stoker is Irish. Yeah, he has three different houses in Dublin. Wow. Do you know, have you heard about Dracula Daily? Dracula Daily? I had a teacher named Mr. Daily. Did he get bitten by a vampire and become Dracula Daily? No. Do you think? Uh, so there's this huge thing, actually. Uh, where people have subscribed themselves to get emails like the letters uh, this guy writes when he is going to Transylvania and then about that group. I don't know, I think he writes in his group or whatever. So they get these emails 
the same day that he's writing entries on, I don't know, letters. I haven't read it. <laughs> cool. Well, the, the, the book is made up of letters. It's, yeah, so yeah, they get so the that's, letters that's every, day, every day he's sending them, they get the, the updates. Wow. The email, and ha it, it has a huge following. Like, they go crazy every year. Damn. Yeah. I don't know if something is happening today, but every time when there's a new letter, uh, in, uh, there's always like this trend on Tumblr. And hundreds of <laughs> new posts. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. See, this is why you're a tour guide. You know everything about uh, Dracula, even though you're scared of vampires. Well, yeah. But uh, yeah, I have a subscription like that, but it's to Playboy. They send me Playboys once a month. Wow, once a month. Yeah. Okay, so now we're at the castle with the names that I can't say. And this statue here is the reason I wanted to come to this castle. Really? So, remember we were talking about Dracula, obviously, a minute ago? Yeah. So this is a statue of the actor Bela Lugosi, who played Dracula. In, first he played him on stage, and then he played him in the 1931 movie. Oh. He's one of the first ever Draculas. And he's probably the most famous. And uh, he was... Uh, he was Hungarian born. He was an Hungarian actor. And he has a nice little... Uh, gremlin under him as well. 1882 to 1956. And he was in a bunch of Ed Wood movies as well. All the Dracula connections. And there's also, there, there's a place somewhere here called the Labyrinth of Dracula. Do you know that? No. It's under one of the castles, not this one. Maybe Buddha Castle or something. Oh, oh, it's all yeah, a cavern yeah, yeah, system. Yeah, they, do, they do a tour there, yeah, I know. Yeah, apparently that's called the Labyrinth of Dracula. But I don't have time to do it this time, but I'm gonna come back again. Okay. What's wrong with my pose? No, no, She's no. making fun of my pose and the, no, no, the way I'm... What would I turn? What if I turn it's around? A, it's a really good uh, pose for yeah. whatever. It better be. No, you should make me self-conscious about my posing. Yeah. You know what am What am I gonna do? What's a, What's a better pose? Though? No, it's great. It's a really good vlog pose. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? If she told me a minute ago, she doesn't lie. So, because she's a bad liar. Exactly. Yeah, but I don't know. Look at the big grin on your face. I don't. I don't think she's telling me the truth. Oh my god! Bella Lugosi, do something. I'm gonna summon the ghost of Bella Lugosi, and you're gonna send the ghost of Dracula to your house. Oh no! Yeah. That's what you get. Cause he's jealous because you you don't take pictures with his statue. I'm a, can I tell the story about your statue? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it turns out that uh, like every Every time uh, Stefa here goes to a, a certain club, when she comes out of the club, she goes down the street and she takes a photograph in front of a statue. And it turns out she didn't realize earlier that we were talking about the same statue. It's the Columbo statue that I was at yesterday. Now she mainly goes because she wants to take a picture with the dog. Yeah. She's never seen Columbo or heard of it, <laughs> I don't think. Um, but she goes and I was I said I nearly said every year, but every now and then, every time she goes out, she gets a time lapse photograph of uh, her at the Columbo statue. So and she was only there just the other day or something. So there you go. That's a, a cool coincidence. Yeah. Also, uh, the name of Columbo's dog is Dog. <laughs> he doesn't. I knew it all the time. Because when he gets it, when I he gets like, it, good dog. He can't think of a name. So he just calls it dog, dog. And, then, and then by the time he can think of a name, it's used to just being called dog. Yeah. So he just calls it dog. And that's, that's the name he of his dog. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. He's a very good dog. I him every time. He likes ice cream. Yeah, yeah. so next time you get a, a flower ice that's cream, my... go and bring it to dog. He likes it. I will. You know, and get a whatever, I don't that know what flavor he likes. Yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah. On my 
if you subscribe to Steph's newsletter, <laughs> she sends you monthly updates. Oh, really? Yeah. So get on that, check it out. <laughs> Stephagram. <laughs> Steph.com, okay? It's the next big thing. She's famous. She's famous at Morrison's yeah. as well. We're in the presence of a celebrity. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna go somewhere else and see, uh, see what else we find. Okay, so we're still in the park. Uh, I'm still in the park, but we are still in the park together, you and I, the viewer. Um, Steph has departed, she had to go swimming, because uh, I think she needs to cool down, which is understandable, because it's very fucking warm, in case I didn't mention that before. Uh, it's funny, we got to uh, the bus stop, and uh, she's like, oh shit, I think that's my bus. She hops on the bus, and then almost immediately, she texts me and says, Adam, I got on the wrong bus. <laughs> I said, of course you did, that's very on brand. Because uh, we've been... Uh, I've been kind of running around in circles the whole morning. Anyway, I'm still here in the park. Uh, it is very nice. So I'm going to show you now something really cool. I always love when I show something cool and I put my fucking face right in front of it so you can't see it. You only have to look at it over, over my shoulder. So Okay, so this is a big bunch of poles and then these two things that stick up, rampy things on either end. I think that's the scientific exact description for for what this is uh but it looks cool so we're gonna we're gonna wander over yonder and uh check it out oh, i don't even know what uh, what temperature it is today i don't i don't want to look in fact i'm still in the uh i'm not wearing my shorts because they're absolutely soaked after last night but the the shoes dried out Thank fuck. I, I, I would have worn them even if they were still wet, to be honest. Because uh, obviously they were wet last night coming out of the party. So I had to uh, put on uh, my boots and walk back uh, to the hotel in my boots. It was, uh, it was not fun. <laughs> but, the, but the party was a lot of fun, obviously, as you, as you saw. Uh, you know this is like a jungle in here I try I try to go right to the center of it as deep as I can. Oh, you know what's good about this? They're so high and thick. There's no sun. It's the shade. You know I'm all about that sweet, sweet shade. Whoa. But as always, for our sins, we have to return to the sun. Damn, man. How do you think for a Dracula feel? It's a little tiny Dracula and old Bella Lugosi over there. That's cool, isn't it? Bella Lugosi statue. I bet. I, 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 here is the name of the castle. Yeah, you tell me how to fucking pronounce it. I don't even know what this thing is. There was something similar looking to this in uh, Amsterdam that I didn't, I didn't go on. Okay, what are we going to do? There's steps and then there's like the bit at the side. So... And the same over there. So I think we'll go up the steps and then down on the side. So uh, I, I woke up late. I was supposed to meet Steph at 10. And like, remember yesterday I said I didn't set an alarm? And I woke up later than I expected. Today I also didn't set an alarm, like a genius. I did not learn my lesson. So I woke up late, I tumbled out of bed um, and just kind of ran out the door. Uh, we were collecting figs from a, a very nice American lady whose name I don't recall, unfortunately, but she's very nice. She grows, she has a fig tree in her house, not in her house, but in, the, in her yard. Her grandfather was Hungarian, which is why it's here. 
she inherited it and uh, she gives the figs away for free um, which is cool um, so yeah if you're in Budapest and you want figs look up this name the woman whose name I don't know and just you know let her know you're in the market for some figs show up to her house and she'll give you them free of charge just be sure to bring a bag bring a bag to put your figs in uh, so then we get ended up getting Starbucks for breakfast I had a raspberry brownie and a slice of Snickers cake both gluten free for breakfast and I bought a bottle of water and guess what? It was sparkling water. So my friend was telling me, Blue Caps is sparkling water. Whereas bottles with, um... Wow, look at this. Bottles with pink caps are still water. So, uh, what you want to do is get, um... One with still water. So now, luckily, I brought a bottle that I got last night. There's a, a decent amount of 24 hour stores here in Budapest, which is good. So I came out of Sparty. I'm gonna have to sit down for a minute. So I came out of Sparty. Uh, all right, I'm gonna swivel this around so that you get the view behind me. Nice. So I came out of Sparty at like 2 a.m. and then. Um, walked back to my hotel so it was like about half two I, I got to the uh, the store and I bought one of these big Evian bottles and I kept it in my hotel and I carried it around with me this morning so by the time I got around to drinking most of it with the heat it was fucking warm which is disgusting so I, I've refilled it from one of the many drinking fountains that you find around the, the city park here uh, but they're they're like they just come out in like a massive torrent so water splashes everywhere good thing I have I have swim shoes <sighs> I don't know if that weird tinny aftertaste that I got from the one yesterday came just from the fountain or I've become desensitized to it uh, but you don't really feel it with that Oh my god. She's telling me my, my, my face is red. I think I, I have sunburn on my face. So yeah, Starbucks for breakfast and then probably not even an hour after that. Uh, I had my ice cream. Uh, Gelato Rosa is the name. Uh, right next to the Basilica. Which we're going to go into, but there was a queue. And I was like, I don't feel like queuing. So we didn't go in um, to the Basilica. But I got my picture taken outside of it. There's me at the Basilica. And the ice cream was really nice. The cinnamon ice cream was lovely. Yeah, really nice. A lot of places I don't think do cinnamon ice cream back in Ireland, so... That's rough, but it's a uh, delicious flavor. Uh, oh my god so warm dude I'm not built for this shit okay so I think I think I I, I might I might have screwed up here I think it looks like the, the rampy part kind of goes around the outside so I don't know how to get onto it from here. I just, I don't, know, I, I don't want to just walk through the plants and hop the wall, but I think that's what I do. What I got to do. There doesn't seem to be a, a kind of a throughway from here. You get a better view over there. There's like sweat running down my arm, man. Let's see. Maybe get a. Yeah. See, look. There is. Sort of where I thought I was going to end up when I went up this way, but. Uh, I don't think so. So how do I get from... 
from here to there i think the only way would be to go down and around and back up but i'm not going to do that so we're just going to have to miss out on whatever view is on this side also i need to go to the bathroom because i drank so much water so what we're going to do uh is i'm going to go back down and then i'm going to go back up the rampy side on the other side and get some uh some views from over there so i'll see you when i'm over there Pleasant walking, nothing to see. Ow! I'm looking forward to seeing what the view is going to be like when I get up here. Oh my god, that's so hot to touch. Ah, yikers. Yikers Island. Whoa, shut up. Honka honka indeed. Why am I climbing things in this heat? I'm gonna die, man. Death itself. I'm walking so slow. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're now at the top. Cool. Fucking fly or some shit on me. I think there was an ant in my in my bed last night. I don't know if I brought him in or he was already there. down again Ugh. dude it's so steep but like look at this look right down that's cool and kind of scary when you're looking down especially when it's kind of steep you don't have much balance whoa and it would seem we still got a long long way to go seen all i wanna see today Over there, that is the bathhouse where the, uh, the party was last night. That's not the side I went in on. Uh, I went around on the, on the far side there. I'm currently trying to find... Uh, maps tells me that there is a public toilet kind of open on that side of the park. So I headed there. Um, I'm trying to kind of uh, see what uh, the story is. I'm also trying to find a good place to cross the road. Ooh, look at these flowers. Welcome to Budapest at night, or at least in the evening. It's just after seven, about half seven here now. This is Budapest after dark. Uh, I'm literally on the same street as where my hotel is. This will be back there on this side. Uh, there is a big railway station. And so it's 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 a obviously the statues. You know, it's a cool. Uh, it's kind of a cool area to be staying near, um, except. I don't have a window that looks out into this <laughs> uh, because I have one of those it's the, one of those hotel that, for lack of a better way of describing it goes in like this so my room is just looking out onto 
other rooms. Uh, so, we're out walking. We are headed in the kind of general direction of a couple of bars. Check out this floral shop. I'm going to go kind of zoom in. All right, so... Um, so Budapest has these things called room bars. Um, which are like... I don't even remember what they are, but they're like these kind of like disused old buildings that have been converted into bars. And uh, I'm not doing a great job as well, but apparently they're really cool. It's one of the top attractions of the city. But, I don't know which of the good ones, which are not, because there's uh, a lot of scam bars. And, uh, so, uh, so I asked, I asked uh, Steph if she could recommend anything. There was a place called, I believe called, She Black Girt. Which is also around the corner from the way. I'm just trying to do some bullshit. I'm just trying to take it one way again. Um, so. uh, anyway, it's it's uh, kind of only 10 minutes or so around the corner from an Irish pub. Um, which. Uh, I think sometimes has live music, I don't know if they have any tonight. So, I'm kind of in the bit of the mood for a sing song. I can't dance, uh, but I can just clap along. So, the Irish pub is the further one away. So I think we'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll go past it first and see what the vibe is like. And, uh, uh, if there is live music, track I'll just kill, that'd be cool. But it's kind of quiet over dead. I do want to go to these room bars, but I don't know, I don't know how long I might stay in the I don't like going to the bar, but going to the bar is a lot of music. It's a bit different. Um, so, uh, if you want to see it, and if I'm not that into arguing, I'll just and just walk around the uh, streets like this again like I did in Amsterdam just show you interesting things that I find like, uh, like this here mm -hmm. yeah there are people around so I don't want to be like obviously filming that of course it is what I, what I want to film uh, while we're walking I also brought some of those chocolate bars I have a feeling, based on everything I've tried so far, the bars I tried yesterday, the fact that these have weird flavors, I'm probably not going to like these very much. But, we're going to give them a go. When in Rome, as they say. I'm trying to do everything I can. It's hard. I have too many pockets in this bag. I don't remember which one I put. The chocolate bar is one. not this much traffic in Amsterdam, so I hope this is uh, audible. Remember, I must do a count. In my Amsterdam video, I, I said stuff like, oh man, I, ho I hope you guys can actually hear everything I'm saying. I said that about 10 times, probably. I really hope, because uh, I've not watched back any of the footage from last night. So, um, I don't know... Uh, how much of uh, the, the Sparty footage is audible. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to 
cracking that one open in the editing suite when I get back home, for sure. In general, I'm just excited to be finally fucking putting out some new content again. Souvenirs and stuff. I have to go tomorrow and buy a, a bunch of fridge magnets. There's a shop so it's sort of close to the hotel. It's easy to do a lot of it, so I'll swing by there in the morning and, uh, and get some really cool building. Scotty Falls, I feel. You know what, I shouldn't be crossing intersections and stuff with uh, sunglasses on at night because it's hard for me to see. <laughs> uh, here they don't have um, buttons that you push. In, in, in Barcelona it seems to. Well, in Barcelona it seems to be a sensory thing. Like you'd walk up to a crosswalk and it would just turn green for you and you could go. Here, not, it doesn't happen immediately. You don't have to press anything. You just have to walk up and stand there and then it will turn for you. But I've noticed that in accordance with that, not in accordance, but like, drivers will often just drive through um, it anyway, when the lights are green, so you just kind of gotta keep your eyes out for it. I mean, they won't drive into you, they don't seem to do it at speed. I think that's it, I think they look and it's like, if they can get through it cleanly, they just go for it. You know, they're okay to break the light as long as they're not actually putting in the So it seems like it. I mean, just like, I suppose in the next tree beat, abandoned building there. A little spooky, I gotta say. A little spooky in the streets of Budapest. Where am I going here? I'm gonna forget to look at my uh, So many cars here are so loud. We like a challenge here at Schlocker. I also can't see which ones I'm handling. So I'm just going for it. Whatever whatever one we end up with first is whatever one we end up with first. I feel like I'm, I'm probably gonna take about because we're in squares, I'm gonna take a square each off of these. And then probably end up putting the rest in the bin. I hate to say it. This one feels like it's broken as well. I think it's got like a like a kind of creamy filling. So if it's broken, it's broken in the middle though, but it might be leaking out. This is a this is a place that I noticed yesterday. I think it's, it says it's it's opening something. Called Fitness Candy. It's got button up next to images of sweets. And I just glanced through the window. I'm not gonna go open the window. But uh, it did look like sort of a gym. 
It's not a fitness equipment, but do they also have a switch up? What's the, what's the deal? That might be something I could, I could get behind, because... Look, for one thing, I'm very lazy, which is why I don't, uh... You know, I don't, I'm not ripped. I'm not swole. I'm not a gym boy, or anything like that. I'm not into fitness. And occasionally I'm like, could I be? You know, should I look into this? You know, trying to work out, trying to build my physique, lifting for myself and not others or whatever. But it always seems like to get in decent shape, it always requires a better diet. And I'm like, nah. I wouldn't mind, I don't think, putting in physical graft. Well, I wouldn't mind so much. But I couldn't do a diet of like fucking salads and health smoothies and eating specific things. I love my chocolate and my junk. You know? And the few things I do like, so this is this could maybe partly melt as well. So that's why. So look if there was a gym that was like you can get ripped whilst also soaking your face with shit, that'd be base as hell. Of course you could also just take steroids, couldn't you? Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second because I'm gonna have to cross a big interjunction here. Also, there is the little that uh, I got stuff earlier, and over there is where I had my breakfast yesterday. Where I bought um, those profiteroles. rolls. So I'm gonna have to cross here, and it's quite complex. And I cannot see shit in this fucking glass, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause, probably open the bar. And then Come back on the other side. All right, you hate to see it, but I took the glasses off because I need to see what I'm doing. All right, so here's the bar. Uh, so it's the back of it's kind of a bit broken, and the strawberry stuff has come out. Oh, it smells very strawberry. Like obviously, but it smells like like strawberry sorbet or something. It looks kind of dark as well. I thought it was milk chocolate, but, but it might not be. It looks kind of dark. Which I, I don't know, dark chocolate with, with the sharpness of strawberry might be a bit too much. Alright, here we, here we go. That is our target, but it's not overpowered. You know, I could go for another bite of that. Ooh. So, we're going to. We're going to try. Be of a year a chocolate bar. See the pinkness. Yeah, that one's not bad. I'd eat all of that if I had the time, the appetite. I hate this shit. Anyone else have this problem with the, the glasses keep opening while you're wearing them? Look, there's a old Oppenheimer. Look at this. Look at this weed shit. Too. Oh, base. Spooky, if you ask me at this point. Well, I noticed this yesterday when I was walking at high, but no, it was Friday night. I had some of those uh, sweet wrappers off the little cold ones with me. Uh, bins are few and far between in these city streets. Check out some of these t shirt designs. 
Like I just feel like I was walking for ages looking looking for somewhere to put them. You know? I got talked to this guy in the uh, changing room with the party last night. Um, it was uh, he, his locker was next to mine, and uh, he he comes in. We were both on our way out, and he comes in. He's like, "Wow, it's freezing! Oh, I'm so cold!" And I was, I was like, "Oh yeah, it's, you know, it's freezing when you, you get out of the water." I was like, but I said, "Fun was had. You know, we had a good night." And he was like, "That is the main thing, brother. You know." But fun definitely was hot, and he, he really enjoyed himself. Uh, I asked him where he was from, and to no surprise, he said he was from the U.S. Uh, because he was clearly American. Um, he was. Uh, then he, uh, he asked me where, where I'm from. I say I'm from Ireland. Oh, where about in Ireland? Dublin. He's like Dublin. Yeah, that's good. That means you're not in Northern Ireland. You're not under the crown. <laughs> Yeah. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, he was like, uh, you know, yeah, it's like we both fought for our country, we both fought for our independence against the British, you know, and all that. It was cool. I was like, yeah, oh, the fucking rat in this locker room. And then some other guy that he he met during the night, I guess, came in, who I think was Brazilian. But he was uh, definitely South American, anyway. And uh, he comes in and he's like, hey, oh, what's all good, brother? And uh, Baron was like, yeah, all is good, man, all is good. I just met this Dubliner, and he's out here having a great time. And he, he was like, ah, oh, you, Dublin, yes, Irish, yes. Um, and he was inviting me to, uh, to Morrison's for an after party, which was Morrison's the same club that the boat party after party was at. And he like, I don't know, he knew he knew a guy who knew a guy or something, so he was like, if I wanted to go, he could, he could get me in, he could get me in on the list, and like, yes list. Which is really nice, might have been bullshit, but it was nice. It was also nice of the offer me a uh, okay. But, uh, I couldn't. At first, I was just like, I'm too tired. I gotta get up early in the morning. I wasn't planning on it. Not really dressed for it. You know, I was. I didn't bring any uh, El Drip out clothes with me to uh, to the uh, to the pool, the spa. So like, I wanted to be El Drip. I have to double back to the hotel and uh, get changed. Come back out. And so I wasn't. There was no point going out without El Drip. I'll start. Man everywhere. No, no point going out with the window to style. But um And then and then afterwards I then I also thought about and I realized I can't go for like I don't have any fucking sh shoes. Because my swim shoes were drenched. And uh, I was not going dancing in a club in my boots that were fucking putting the, the ankles off me. Uh, but still, you know, nice one to offer. And then uh So, uh, I'm, so I'm, I'm on my way out. We're all shaking hands, exchanging names. His name's Jamie. Says, oh, I'm Jamie. You know, I'm Jamie. Cool. Nice to meet you. And I turn around, and the, the American guy goes, "What's your name, Dubliner?" <laughs> Which I just, I just thought was funny. Um, and, and he goes, "I go, yeah, uh, I'm Adam." He goes, "I'm Ben. Th that's good. E we're both easy to remember <laughs> names." So there you go, Adam and Ben. Some people will laugh at that. Uh, but yeah, good guy. I've, I've already met so many people from all over because Budapest is such a tourist hotspot. So I feel like I've, I've not really met any uh, Hungarian people, I think, other than like uh, staff here. I think everybody that like I, I met uh, in, a, in a social sense has been mostly uh, not non-locals. So I met some, as I said, I met some Americans uh, on the boat. One of them, uh, John the Baptist, the preacher man. So, so he's from Virginia. He's specifically from the western part of uh, Virginia, that 
John Denver was singing about in the song. Um, and his friend, his friends were from all over the map. He had, he was, there was like a group of five of them, and each of them was from a different state. One of them was Miami. One of them was from California, and then one of them was from Connecticut. And uh, they all they all know each other in college, but they all go to college in Austria. And I think Vienna, I'm not sure, but in Austria anyway. That's where they study. And they got the train from Austria into Hungary for the weekend. They were partying it up on the boat. And uh, uh, it's funny, like I met them, we all introduced ourselves, and you know, we all go off, they're all off the boat or whatever. And a while later, they ran into me again. They were like, yeah! Slash George, you know he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's from, he's from Ireland. He's Irish, and uh, yeah, they were they were like trying to get me to remember where they were from. John McCain was, was with me, and he's like, "Do you remember where, where I'm from?" And I was like, "This guy's either from Virginia or Connecticut. I know it's one of them, and his friend is the other." And I correctly guessed that he was Virginia. And then like he was calling his buddies over, like, hey, you know, this guy's the guy who's Irish. And there'd been this girl, we were at like the rail on the edge of the boat. And there'd been this uh There's been this there'd been this girl there dancing kind of by herself. Just next to us. And then suddenly she's she's leaning over their shoulder and she's looking at me with a face like <laughs> And then I was like, what the fuck? And she was like, hang on, are you Irish? I was like, yeah, she was like, you're not Irish. I'm like, well, she says, you don't look Irish. I'm Irish, you don't look Irish. And it turns out she's from Kildare. And Kildare, for those who don't know, is like very close to Dublin. Um, it's one of the next counties over from Dublin. Uh, so, I mean, what are the odds? You know, that's cool. I don't remember her name. I think it was like Judith or something. Uh, but yeah, she was, she was cool. And then John started telling the both of us about um, like God and religion. And we kind of were making jokes, but like he was he was in it. We weren't being dicks to him. But like we kept looking at each other and being like, you know, this guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was uh, that was good fun. Uh, a lot of a lot of English lads. Uh, I met some guys in the pool who were from Bristol. Louis and his crew were from Bristol. Some, somebody asked me if one of the English guys, they were from somewhere else, Essex, I think. They were asking me where I was from. They said, are, are, are you English? And I went to say close. Was it close to England? And, I, and like almost at the same time I said that, one of them guessed that I was from the Netherlands. And I think they thought I was saying that I was I was from close to the Netherlands. And then when they were like, oh no, we don't know, we can't figure it out, I said I'm from I, I'm close to England. I'm from Dublin in Ireland. And then one of them looks at me and says, but Dublin's nowhere near the Netherlands. <laughs> Like no, I'm not near the Netherlands. No. Where are we now? Okay, the next main corner I think is uh, where we're headed to. So yeah, it's a real melting pot of culture. There, there's Oppenheimer again. He's the new Buddha. Remember, I kept running into Buddha everywhere in. Um, Dogma. Luke Besson, hang on. That's obviously a Kinoplex there. Um, remember I kept running into the Buddha everywhere in uh, Amsterdam. So here I've, I'm running into... Oh look, they have fridge magnets here. Um, I feel like I should wait though. And get them in the morning. Probably trying to what I said.
What was cool as well was when I was in that uh, girl's garden today. Um, the, the American girl with the fig tree. And I was thinking, how mad is it? There was three of us standing there with the fig tree. There was the, the lady who owned the fig tree, who was American. There was uh, Stefa, who was from Ecuador. And there was me, who was from Ireland. And the three of us were stood in, uh, around the fig tree in Budapest. That's just, that's just cool. Cool, that is just cool. So, nice to meet you. Okay, so I can see the bridge. That's, it's next to that bridge that I was at. On Friday night, that's where the boat party takes off from down there. So we're actually back in the same area now. Excalibur. What the fuck? Look at this shop. What the fuck? It's a... Um, Got everything. John Wick shit. Well, I actually uh, missed the trick earlier when I was talking about um, Hero Square. Um, I mentioned to Stefa that they shot some of Die Hard 5 there, they played the Die Hard. And then she told me, she reminded me that I tried some of John Wick there, one of them. That's the thing, I don't totally remember. But uh, she was like, I guess they shoot some films here. The, 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 one where, uh, the one where Keanu Reeves kills everybody was what she said. I was like, oh yeah, John Wick. And I do remember reading that one of them was, uh, was at least part of the film in Budapest. I think around here at Square. So that's that's a nice little added detail. Look over there, it's the Continental. From uh, John Wick. That's obviously not it, that's in New York, and I believe they shoot it on location in New York City. But there's Continentals around the world, isn't there? So maybe... Where? Because he's not always in New York, is he? He's in New York. Nah, he is now, if I think about it. He's in New York for most of the first one. And he's in New York at the end of the second one. Leading into the beginning of the third one, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, I think I have to turn a corner soon. I don't know if it's this one or the next one. I don't think it matters because they're all going to loop me around the far side anyway. You know? Yeah, this says it's the next corner. But uh, I don't think it matters. Uh, so, right, I'm going to head down and uh, probably end up in the, uh, in the Irish pub. Okay, good morning. It is now Monday morning. My last morning in Budapest. No, I don't want to go. But I kind of do because I'm very tired. So, um, it's been a good trip. Uh, so, it is early in the morning. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. I'm going to head to the airport soon, uh, but first I have some unfinished business to take care of. We're going to try them now. Okay, so first up we're going to try the Co Coco's Rud. Coco's Rud. Coco's Rud. Uh, Kakeos Rum Rum Itsu. Rum Itsu, what am I saying? But uh, Coconut uh, flavory thing, so let's see. Okay. I get a little bit of coconut. It's not as strong as I thought it might have been. It's got the texture of one of those like uh, eco brownies or whatever they're called. You know those kind of health. Uh, brownies. 
which are okay in small doses. But uh, I find it hard to eat a lot of them in one go. Okay, so. Oh, I couldn't even remember this over. Put the other one. Okay, so this is the next Tibby bar. This one's banana flavor. Mmm, very banana y. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Very banana-y. I don't know, I like banana flavor. Maybe that's a bit too strong. The, the aftertaste is nicer than how it tastes when you're actually eating it. I think if there was less banana in it maybe, and it was less sharp. Just a hint of banana mixed with the, uh, the chocolate. The coconut had not enough coconut and the banana had too much banana ah shit okay this is the cherry flavored tibby now it is leaking uh, already so uh, we'll just we'll just dive straight in time to pop the cherry Yeah, that one's not that nice. <laughs> Cherry a bit too strong for me. That's someone already not a fan of cherry flavor. Too strong. Okay. Now, these ones. Let's just grab the bull by the horns. Alright, these ones have gluten in them. These are the apple flavor things that also have cornflakes in them. They're very small. So, fuck it, risk it for a biscuit. Just just to see, I'm gonna try one of them. Cause uh, I'm interested in, in the apple flavor. I don't know about this one. It's weird. No, I got it because we don't have things like these are these are new flavors. We don't have uh, like cherry chocolate back home. We don't have banana chocolate back home. We don't have apple chocolate. But man, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe they don't mix that well. That one's okay. Again, that one probably has a nicer aftertaste than. Uh, a jeering taste, is that what you call it? Well, that was that was that anyway. That was the long awaited chocolate haul portion of the video. Finally finished, finally tried everything. As I said, I noticed the other day there was a pear flavor tibby bar which I'm glad I didn't try and then last night I discovered it looked like there was a peach flavor tibby bar which uh, I, I can't even imagine what that would be like but uh, we're not going to try them maybe next time uh, when I come back to Budapest I'll track down those flavors and give those a go so check it out I got some fridge magnets as well for my friends and family these two are kind of uh, generic looking then I got these so first up is I knew that uh, I was getting one for uh, my mom and uh, 
she'd been particularly interested in me going to Heroes Square because just a few weeks ago before I came here there was an, uh, an athletics event, the athletics championship or some shit, I don't know what it was and it was held here in Budapest and a lot of the events were in Heroes Square they were doing laps around Heroes Square and she was like, oh are you going anywhere near there uh, when you're in Budapest? I'm like, yeah, I'm well, I said I was staying near there, it's not that close it's about half an hour um, walking but I intended to go, I was like, yeah, that's one of my destinations, so I'm going to Hero Square. So I knew I was going to get her a uh, magnet with Hero Square on it. Uh, and then I discovered that there is a magnet with Hero Square and the Pope on it. And uh, my mom hates religion with a burning passion. So I thought she'd get an ironic kick out of me giving her one with the Pope on it as well. And then... Uh, usually I'll buy these magnets as gifts for people, but then I found one that was like, I have to get this for myself. Check it out. James fucking Bond, Budapest. You know, because uh, there are no Bond locations in Budapest. He's never been here in any of the films. Uh, I don't even know if he's been here in any of the books. Not any of the Flemings anyway, I don't think. Um... So this one says, let's go Budapest, next stop 007. So they're saying he's got to come here. He's got to come here sooner or later, you know. Uh, and there's lots of, uh, as, I, as I hope I've demonstrated, uh, there's lots of cool shit to see here. Uh, Hero Square would be a great Bond location. Um, the Basilica, the Opera House, that was really cool. Um, you know, you could have a boat chase down the Danube. What I'd do if I was making the next Bond film is I'd have him on a boat chase down the Danube, but it would be on a Friday night and he'd go past the the boat party and the, the boat would go past. Because he's never... There was the, the big boat chase in The World Is Not Enough. Um, I feel, I'm trying to picture... Every time I picture a boat chase in Bond... It's during the day. Promotion with love. Quantum of solace. The world is not enough. Live and let die, of course, you know. Uh, so a boat chase at night would be cool and a new thing for Bond. In a new city, like Budapest. But he could be like going like... <laughs> like chasing the bad guy, the bad guy's chasing him, and then they go... Zooming past the boat party and everyone sees them. They're all drunk. They're like, yeah. That'd be fucking sick. <laughs> That'd be cool. Also, he should come to Ireland, you know? Just... Uh, he's come in one or two of the books, but uh, never in the movies. James Bond, come to Ireland. I did a, I talked about it when I was in Amsterdam. He could do a boat chase down the Liffey. Also, if he's in Budapest, he then has to do a car chase. The boat chase has to go into a car chase and the car has to drive past the Colombo statue and that has to have a little cameo in there. This is my pitch for Bond 26, starring me as 007. Look forward to that. So that was a really cool find. I didn't think I'd get anything Bond related here, but there you go. Next up, oops, then I went to fucking drop the thing. Uh, Anyway, uh, uh, last night uh, was a bit of a bust in the end, and uh, uh, so I only kind of briefly popped into the the ruined bar. So I went down to the Irish pub first. Live music only on Saturdays, so on Sunday. So I was like, ah, I don't know. And it looked kind of busy. It looked like it would be hard to get a, a seat or whatever. So I went, walked back up to the ruined bar, Schimpla Kurt. Um, and uh, you know what, I, I sent a voice note to my friend because I was too lazy to type out the story of what happened and now being even lazier, I don't want to repeat myself so I'm going to find the voice note <laughs> and I'm just going to play it to scroll through, she sends me so much weird shit so I just sat here on the floor talking for like about 4 minutes and then suddenly uh, the camera went and turned off and I realized it was going into auto standby when it's not interacted with uh, because I hadn't pressed the record button so I just talked for four minutes and you know nothing anyway we're now sitting on the floor this is what it's come to so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me
excuse me. So just for context, uh, look, there is a nude beach uh, here in Budapest. Uh, well, I don't know if it's in Budapest, but it's near Budapest. Uh, an area called Lake Velenz. They have a, a small section of that beach. It is a nudist beach. And uh, which I didn't go to, obviously, but I told my friend about it. And then she just never stops asking me about the nudist beach. She's become obsessed with it. So, um... And then I was texting her last night when I was I was leaving the uh, <coughs> oh my god oh the, the the aftertaste of apple and uh, banana not not too much uh, not too much cherry though um, <coughs> so uh, we're talking then she inevitably brings up the uh, the nude beach. Because uh, she says that she wants to hear a traumatizing story, I guess, about the nude beach. I don't know. Um, so while I don't have a traumatizing story about the nude beach, I do have a traumatizing story about my experience in the uh, ruin bar. So I hope this comes out as audible on the uh, camera. Let's find out. Oops. Ash, I'm writing a, doing a voice note because I'm walking back to my hotel and I'm so tired. I'm too tired to type everything out. But you want a traumatic story. You want one about the beach. I didn't go to the beach, but you're going to get a traumatic story about the toilet. So I drank too much. I still hope you can hear me because I'm walking along a, a busy street back to my hotel. So anyway, I'm in this place. It's called a ruin bar. And it's kind of cool inside. I drank too much water before I went in because I had a big bottle of water and I wanted to get rid of it. So I drank all of them and go for the bin. And I was like, oh shit, that's a lot of water weight. And then I went in the pub, the ruined bar, and fucking, like a genius, I ordered two more bottles of water. And I sit there drinking them by myself like in Egypt. And I'm like, this is a bit of a buzz. And then you're gonna finish the, like, the go to the toilet. Push the toilet door open. And the bathroom, you know, obviously this is a public bathroom in a, in, a, in a bar, so it's like it's one small room lined with urinals on either side, and then at the end are the are two cubicle toilet stalls. So like I walk in and instantly I look down and do it like no joke. It's like like an inch thick layer of piss on the floor that you gotta step through okay like just it's just everywhere all over the floor okay and i'm not i remember i was saying to you that i'm wearing these weird really thin swim shoes that's all i have on my feet so i'm trying to watch where i step very carefully and then uh i find i make it through the minefield i get all the way down to the toilet stall and I go to the, the first cubicle is on the right hand side and I walk into it and I stop and I realize there's no fucking door on this thing there's no door so no privacy I guess I mean it's one thing getting your bits and bobs out on a nudist beach this is a pub for fuck's sake so I'm like oh it, I, but then I look the next one I can see has a door um, but obviously if it's the only one with a door, it's, it's the only one that people go to shit in. And I fucking open the door, and man, they don't just shit in the toilet, alright? There was some, there was some stuff on the floor, on the walls, and I, I just, 180, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hold it. And I walked out, and uh, now I'm walking back to the hotel. Still dying for a piss, and probably a piss and shit all over my fucking swim shoes. And uh, still got water bloat in my stomach. Oh my god, what a night, you know. Despite this, Budapest is fucking awesome. I'm having a great holiday other than that. But that was the most horrific toilet I've ever seen. It's the only place ever I've been in my life where I went in, saw the state of the toilet, and then decided to just walk back out without even using it. So there you go. I didn't go to the nude beach, but I went to her horrific toilet, and now you've heard that uh, story. Okay. There you go.
And then in response she says, no, toilet store, you actually telling me about your contribution to the Hungarian toilet? Should have gone in the bush, or uh, should have gone on the nudist beach, she says. So, there you go. What the fuck is this? Who's, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. Damn, Mr. Popularity over here getting texts. Actually getting text messages. What? How do I turn the volume down on this again? Because I want the media to be quiet. Fucking media. <clears throat> night on my last night did I start to look back at some of the footage and um, not a lot of it but uh, I've noticed I think when I'm doing this and I'm holding the camera and then like I move to this hand and I, I think I noticed particularly during some of the the Sparty stuff I don't know I put my hand on like wherever the microphone is or something and it goes from being decent audio into being kind of muffled so uh I'm gonna have my hands full editing this, trying to like maybe adjust audio levels, or I'll probably have to add subtitles to a bunch of things, if I can figure out what I was saying. So you know, good good luck to me with that one. Um, yeah, I got back uh, at like ten last night. So much for being a a party animal. I'm getting buzzed again. Um, yeah, I just I went back to the uh, the hotel at ten. And I set an alarm so that uh, I'd wake up at 12 because I was too tired to do anything right away. I was like, I want to pack and I'll be too tired to do it in the morning. So I slept for two hours, woke back up at 12, put most stuff away and uh, went back to sleep and then uh, I woke up continuously, actually, I woke up almost every hour because even though I'd set an alarm this morning I was scared I would sleep out and miss the alarm, but that didn't happen so uh, I got up at half eight it's now just after nine uh, yeah, my flight's just after twelve so um, I'll probably head soonish enough there's not really a whole lot else to do i got me fridge magnets um so i have nothing else that i have to do here in uh budapest and i've packed away the swim shoes so i'm wearing the boots so uh i don't really want to go around and walk a, a bunch of places <laughs> uh so yeah that uh that is that. These videos always end really low key. Like in Amsterdam, I was like walking around and, you know, great time in the streets. And then the, the end was like me quietly eating chocolate in a Rasta hat. But like, that's how, that's how you know. You know, you, know you, you, you need the quiet moment at the end of the feature to like reflect on everything that's happened. You know, my little montage. I don't know what song I'm going to use for this one. 
Um, yeah, so this will probably be the end of it, I suppose. <clears throat> Man, I have to finish this water before I go to the airport because you can't take it through security in case you make a bomb with it. Which, oh my god, I didn't. So first, I was just going to, I have to finish the thought I was originally going to say, which is that I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to get to the airport and be bloated. I'm going to need to piss. Fuck's sake. Also, I checked, uh, I thought I, I remembered doing this, and I was like, shit, it turns out I do. When I was booking my flights, and I was booking the return flight, and they said, do you want the same seat? And I just went, yeah, sure. So I'm in. I'm going to be in the emergency exit again <laughs> on this fucking flight back home, I've just realized. But at least I realized I had a time, so what I'm going to do just as I get on the plane is I'm going to take out uh, you know, a, a book, a bottle of water, whatever. I'm going to have those with me and not let it get taken away into the, into the overhead. Uh, today is September 11th. It's the ninth of the, uh, it's the ninth month, isn't it? And the eleventh day, which is, a uh, which is eleven nine, Americans. It, it makes sense to put the day before the month. I don't know why you do it the other way. But regardless, if we go by Americans, it is 9-11. Uh, look, I have some American viewers, you know. Uh, I hope no one will take offense to the fact that I had a... Uh, I actually had the opportunity to get cheaper flights if I flew back on the 12th. Uh, like, it, I still would have stayed four days, so if, if I'd come over on Saturday and stayed till tomorrow and done those four days, I would have got cheaper flights. But when I saw that I could book a flight for... September 11th and I could actually fly in a plane on September 11th It was too good an opportunity to pass up for a 9-11 a file such as myself, so uh, I Did that so that's that's why I chose to fly today The shit that that comes out of my fucking mind though. I paid in blood in the end because uh, if I'd stayed uh, Stefan goes to Morrison's on Mondays, so we could have gone to Morrison's tonight uh, but instead I insisted on flying home uh, in celebration of this fine national holiday that we're all uh, such a big fan of. Someday I'll go to New York. So my, my friend from work was texting me there, a different friend, uh, Roman, my, my Ukrainian colleague in the uh, kitchen, kitchen portering business. Um, he was asking me, well first of all, he was taking the piss out of me for coming to Budapest. He was asking me where I was going on holiday. I said Budapest. He was like, Hungary? Hungary? What the fuck? Why don't you go to Turkey and go to the warm sea and all this shit? I'm like, well, because I want to go to to Budapest. Like, so <laughs> He was making fun of me. One of the chefs was making fun of me. Um, and then at the last minute he changed his tune when uh, he realized I'm traveling and he realizes that I can get cheap cigarettes. I can get, I can buy him cigarettes in the duty free. Um, so he's, he's, he's texted me to remind me to, to get him the cigarettes. He says, Adam, my friend, you buy cigarettes or I kill you or will you never return to Ireland? He was offering to pay me money like before I went. And I said, Roman, what you should do is you should give me the money before I go. And then I just not come back. I just don't, don't come back to Ireland. <laughs> He wasn't, he wasn't a big fan of that idea now, but, uh, but sure, so, yeah, I got to stack up on Mal Marlboro Golds for, uh, for my buddy there. I don't know where I'm going to put all this chocolate because I've run out of space in the bin in the bathroom, um, because I put all my other rubbish in that, and I don't think there's a bin out on the street, as I said, they're kind of few and far between. I don't want to go around looking for one when I'll probably just go downstairs, check out, go outside and get a taxi from the front of the hotel. Uh, I don't want to stuff them in my bag and bring them to the airport. Especially the cherry one is leaking. I don't want to get cherry stains. 
I kind of feel like a, a dick just kind of leaving them here, but I, I, I don't know. It's not that I don't have a choice, because I could go and find the bin, but like I'm lazy and my feet are sore. Um, you know, also, that reminds me here. <clears throat> oh, it's still there. Look at this. Check this bad boy out. Holy base. My hotel room. Radioactive Spider-Man. But like, look, I knew this place was a low-budget shithole when I booked it, so like, I can't complain. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't feel so bad about leaving, <laughs> leaving the chocolate here. What else we got? Look up here, it looks like... Well, there used to be like a s secret camera or something up there. <laughs> You know, what's, what's been going on in this, uh, this hotel? I didn't even look in here. Okay, nothing, nothing too traumatic. Last night when I, when I came in, I just took off the swim shoes. I just put them right on the, uh, right in the shower and just let the shower run on them for like 10 minutes. Because, <laughs> uh. That was thought it's fucking nasty. <laughs> worst, worst I've ever seen. Okay, there's really not a lot to add, I do not think. I still... I'm kind of tempted, I kind of want to try the TV one more time and see if I can't figure it out. Look, I said it, I, that, that thing I was complaining about in the graveyard the other day, when people say, let's see if we can't figure this out. I said it. Stefan doesn't think I have uh, that much of an Irish accent. She says she, she doesn't think I sound Irish at all. Only occasionally it comes through. That's why she was making fun of me in the ice cream video. But then I met someone else last night who like immediately figured out I was Irish just based on my accent. So that is curiouser and curiouser. Okay, I got the power button. That's like the only thing I can figure out. Is the power button. You forgot about the power glove. Now I'm playing with power. Oh my god. I forgot how long this takes. Okay. This thing at the side is the one that I was trying to get back to the other day, and I couldn't figure out how to get back to it after I'd left it. Looking at it now, I don't think it's going to be any help. TV? Yeah, I want to be on the. I want to be on the TV. Ah, that's a new screen. I mean, it, there's nothing to it, but it's something. Don't adjust your TV set. We have taken control, or whatever he says at the start of uh, the outer limits. Okay, let's flip channels. Oh my god. <laughs> Candle Cove type beat. What's the point of this TV? Do I have to, like, pay extra or something to get the, uh, get the channels? What's the point of... Oh god, what's this? Oh look, they have 9-11. The 9-11 channel. Wall-to-wall -wall news coverage. 24-7. Whoa, what's this? I press the... I press the menu button and I got this. Oh my god. Why is there no... Uh, there's... What the f- why can't I go any further? Okay, back to home, maybe. What's that? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, Jesus. Let's try Chrome again. See if I can agree to the cookies and it will get me any further. Why is there no option to turn this to English? Hang on, is that is that at the bottom? How do I get to it, though? Mouse. Okay, you probably can't fucking see anything because the screen's glowing. Let's get a bit closer. Okay, so I've got the mouse. I 
It doesn't just. It couldn't be like a sensor thing, you know? Okay. Um, this is the. Appears to be the. What do they have? How do I, I scroll up? Because they don't have they don't have English on this. Uh... Oh my fucking god! Okay, what if I go off of mouse? I go no, scrolling. Oh, okay. This lets me scroll, kind of. Hey, okay. We might be getting somewhere. But I can't see where I'm scrolling. Oh, Swomi! They have Swomi. We're saved. Jesus. Oh God. We're in the weeds now, boys. I feel like English probably isn't down here, but if I scroll all the way to the, almost to the bottom, and then scroll back up to the top, and it turns out it was near the bottom, I'm a snap. So we're have to gonna go all the way to the bottom. Okay, we didn't find it at the bottom. Now we're going to go all the way back up to the top. Try to hopefully find English. Oh, they had Gilga. I landed just on English, but they had the... Uh, they have a... Uh, they have Irish there. There we go. How do I select it? Not that I want to in any way. I want it to be in English, so... Okay, so, uh, okay, English, select, no, stay, okay, how do I get out of this and have it select English? Um, maybe exit? Or is it going to take me out wrong? Ah, uh, what did it do? Where the fuck? Damn it. Oh, I bring up the mouse again. Let me click Google search. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, this takes so long to move. YouTube, that's what we want. How do I, how do I select it though? I want to go off of the mouse, and that's it. Select. Ah, uh, no, we're here again. Okay, I'm just going to go to the, I think it's this one, isn't it? Or is it? Where is it usually, which side is it usually on? I guess it was that one. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Uh, whatever. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yes, hello, going, going down. Pressing down, I have to go off the mouse again, and then scroll. Oh, that's so shit. What did I press last time? It's the furthest one on the on the right hand side, isn't it? So bring back up the mouse. Oh my god. My hand is getting sore from holding the fucking remote. Look, you can see the M in the title. We're on like the mobile version of YouTube. I'm gonna pull this chair out and sit down. Oh, I got Dua Lipa on the front page. Holy beast. I got the Smurfs. There's a Gargamel. 
Probably based. This Tom and Jerry. I hope I didn't access YouTube Kids by accident now. Okay, where in the fuck is the search? Okay, it's up here. Ah, oh, look, it, this takes so long. Look, I have to, I have to like hold the button. Oh my god. And I went past it. I feel like fucking James Rolfe. Um, hello, okay. There we go. Also, every time that I, I, I take my eyes off the camera to look at the to turn and actually just look at the remote, I notice that it tends to sag and you probably only get half the screen. But if you want a quality content, you wouldn't be watching the Schlock Horror channel. Let's see if we can get my beautiful visage up here on the screen. Why didn't I take a, a, a shorter name? Oh look, I'm there, look! Holy fucking beast! I must be really popular in Hungary. Okay, uh, let me go off the mouse and then scroll... No, up. Onto... Results. Maybe not. Okay, I need to go back to the mouse. Up. Third option. Scroll over because they probably want me to click on the word. But now, am I in the results? Staff is right, I'm very narcissistic. Oh, look, there, there, there I am. Holy base. Oh, car. Why, do, why doesn't it just scroll when I do that? Whatever. We watch a Columbo video. When did I last upload? Like six months ago. Jesus. keep going to scroll like that so every time I, I want to scroll down I have to turn off the mouse feature and then use the arrows to go down based villain moments damn some of these have like no views jeez I'm very fucking narcissistic doing this should get the fuck out of here I do, uh, we, we will watch a video to see what the quality uh, is like. Whoa, this is inaccurate. Okay, where? Oh, that's right. I have to turn back on the mouse. I was looking for the mouse. Oh, look, it's there. Right where I want it to be. Amazing. Oh, Jesus, what's the volume? Hang on. Okay. Turn it up to 20. Does anyone else do that? I have to have like it, it right to the thing. Like if I turn up my TV to like 23, I'm like, nah, I have to turn it up to like 25. This doesn't look like it's going to load. Maybe I picked one that's too long. Let's... How the fuck do you go back? Oh, I'll just use the back button. <laughs> that's on the browser. Because I thought if I press exit, it will probably take me out of Chrome altogether. Where's my... I think I turned off the mouse that time. It was actually on. He'll always remember. My arm is so fucking sore holding this camera. Say nothing of your ears listening to me. Now it's not even going to go back. Oh my god. <sighs> Look, 
looking pretty good there if I do say so myself. I am Miami Willard and I'm here for today. I am the host of Thursday. Every week I show shitty movies, but I use Hellier to censor the boobies. These movies are so bad they make you want to go to your grave. The only thing worse would be having to kiss Dave. Oh, destroyed at the Miami Zone. Full disclaimer here, this is only things that are being said in the character of the Miami Man. Uh, the views of the Miami Man do not represent the views of yours truly. It's me, yours truly. i put these fucking glasses back on. I lost because those glasses. You hate to see it. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> We couldn't even make it through a, a 1 minute 42 second video. Better. Now I can go back to advertising my shitty movie stunt. Thursday. Every Thursday. At whatever fucking time I feel like. It was shitty movies. Terrible movies. Horrible movies. Christopher Lambert movies. Albert Pion movies. Neil Breen movies. Filipino jungle kinos. Turkey jungle kinos. Kino jungle movie kinos. So if you're having a bad day. And you think it can't get any worse? Come watch Thursday with us at MiamiVillaStreamer.com <laughs> Hang out with all the boys, watch some dark place Get some drinks and some snacks and watch some roadside rapes committed by dinosaurs You want to be in the Miami Zone? You know you want to be in the Miami Zone So get to the Miami Zone, MiamiVillaStreamer.com Not shit nugget or shit one tea nugget That was banned because it said shit one tea nugget which looked a bit like it's a shit nugget. Why did they let me out, Dave? Holy based. Alright, check it out. We've got a big keynote popping off on the big screen here. I don't wanna live a big city. So I'm lost inside a cemetery around. I can be down in the ground. Millions of people running around. Out. Straight before I get committed. Bound and 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 What a banger. What a banger. Fuck my head up doing that. What's that, what's that dance move that, that Bill does in that video? I wonder what the angle's going to do. You know he's like, I'm leaving it all behind! And he's just fucking like, he goes like... <laughs> it's not even, it's like not even in time with the music. It's just some shit he's doing. He's got a man bun that's flopping about. Holy bass. Yo, wow. I can hear it now. I can feel it down in the ground Millions of people running round I brought back down to simple living I get committed Holy banger one ticket to Bangerville, please. Anyway, I should probably fucking get to the airport soon. Such a banger, I banged my head too hard. <laughs> it goes hard, finally. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. 
I don't wanna die in the big city. I don't wanna live in the big city. Nearly fell off the bed. Dying right now, I gotta get back down. Oh, I really gotta get to the airport. Okay, <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here.